this off. The music, the beautiful music I've missed so much. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Stavi's World. I got my boy Mike Racine on deck. Hello. We're looking nice. He came in. He came in in the tracksuit. I said, let's go tracksuit, baby. The whole team's tracksuited up, except, of course, super producer Eldis in his L.L. Bean. Looking cute. Looking real, looking real main lesbian today. <laughs> Yesterday he was dressed like I believe he called himself Albanian Dundee. Okay, he was in all khakis, and we he can't dress like a different type of lesbian. Every yeah, day. ooh, every day yeah. would be nice because there's actually a lot of types of lesbians. That's true. There's yeah. a, there's a full tox- taxonomy of lesbians. Yeah. there is. Have you seen there's a there's a guy who like chops wood mm-hmm. on TikTok mm-hmm. and he's yeah. like you know. He's just like, he grunts and women, you know, women get all aroused over uh-huh. it. Apparently there's a, there's an outdoorsy lesbian who I've chops seen, wood. I've seen that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Interesting look. It. Yeah. Respect to her. Respect. Cause you know, I, and she did it with a sword, which yeah. I like. Here's the yeah. problem. I want to, oh, no, it's not yeah, your sorry. part. I was about to say, yeah. I really want to get into this. You want to start over? <laughs> No, no, no. We'll just bleep it. It's not your fault. It's not your fault at all. all all I was about to be like, I want to get into this deeper. However, Mm -hmm. we've been getting... Stavi's World, this is a... It's a... a, We're trying to figure it all out here. You know, YouTube... We've been getting um, something in our tushies by YouTube. Mm -hmm. They've been doing something Mm -hmm. to our tushies. Mm -hmm. They've been been graping you. (laughs) They've been graped. Financially. Grape? Grape? You think grape works? (laughs) That's what they. That's what they do on TikTok. Yes, and it's making me want to unalive myself, as they as they also say on TikTok. Yeah. So we're gonna try a new thing here on Stavi's World, where they're doing segs in my yeah segs do- in my a dollar sign dollar sign. Yeah, they were doing the, YouTube is doing segs doing in our consensual a, segs in our, in our a, a dollar sign dollar sign. <laughs> We've been having a couple issues with monetization and yeah. them saying that our our fun uplifting program where yeah. we're trying to help the youth. Yeah. That they're saying that it is not it's it should be you should have to sign in and prove you're over 18 to watch it. So yeah. we're going to try a thing where we don't curse for 5 minutes. Day I 1 I can do that cuz I'm trying to do it at home. Okay, cuz you I'm have a child, not, you have a child. Yeah. Maybe we'll yeah. just like get rid of uh It'll be funny to do a really abrupt cut. Guys, the cut that Eldis did at first is me and Mike accidentally dropping (laughs) F-bombs. Not 45 seconds into this new policy. So you're you're watching this. There's been an abrupt cut. So we're going to give it five minutes where we try not to curse. And then hopefully that tricks our beautiful overlords. Mm. I, listen, I don't believe in God. Mm-hmm. I believe in YouTube. Mm-hmm. Please, the, the Google Corporation, keep monetizing us. Eldis has to buy more L.L. Bean sweaters. <laughs> he has to look like a different kind of homosexual woman. <laughs> Every you should That should be your look. Um, but I feel anyway, like it already is, but... It, it actually fully 100% is. <laughs> you, 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 and, you and some, like, some light... Not even like the full butch stud, but like a... A, a a soft butch, <laughs> Eldis' next, style yeah. is soft butch for next, sure. Next, I want to see you. I want to see you do like a Bushwick Pitbull lesbian. Yeah, yeah, a hundred percent. We need and, a beanie. And do, do like the the man in the relationship and the woman. In the yeah, 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 yeah. You know, switch like, it up. Switch it up. When you do dress the guy, goth, like, yeah, dress goth when you're the woman. When, Backwards when, when, hat. Yeah, Bart yeah, Simpson yeah. T-shirt. Yeah, like yeah. loose yeah, clothing. Yes, yes, yes. She's yes. the one who's walking the pitbull. She's walking the pitbull. And then her girlfriend is like the more lipstick. Right, right, right. Yeah, I don't. He, I don't think you could pull off lipstick. You got to shave. Uh, you think I you could know. be? A, I don't think you have soft enough features. You have. We've covered this. He mm. has the hips for it. Mm-hmm. Eldis <laughs> does have a beautiful. I have the shape. He does have a beautiful hourglass <laughs> figure. Yeah, and he can put his legs behind his head. Oh yeah, legitimately. Nice. So yeah. So it would really come in handy if you wanted to do some segs in his a dollar sign dollar sign. <laughs> do you ever think about if you were a girl, like the type of girl you would be, what you would look like? Because mm. I, I hope that I would have big ass little titties. I think <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, good, yeah. That's oh, a like a look. nice C. Yeah. Like that is awesome when those surprise you. Yeah. Because listen, I love... Big naturals. Mm-hmm. I love big fakies. Mm-hmm. I, I like them big. Not, Obviously, yeah. I'm on yeah. the record. Yeah, and I like to see them a mile away. Okay, I, you know, I it usually I don't you know subtle. They don't have to be subtle, is what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. However, when they sneak up on when you, they sneak up on you. When yeah. a pair of when a pair of a breasts, little, yeah, just little titties. pop out. They're yeah. little, but they're round as uh-huh. round as hell. Uh-huh. 
not they just F. Kinda, they just kind of sit they're, there. Where they're very round and they're and they're yeah they're they're popped up and you're yeah. like these are these are like first round draft pick number one draft pick breasts. Yeah, these are LeBron James athlete. What LeBron James is to athletics, these titties are to titties. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's girl next door titties. <laughs> girl next door titties. Thank you, all this. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And I do a, like and a surprise. And then a wagon, though. And then, and then a big a, wagon. Sure, sure. That's what I would want to be. Honestly? Oh, that's a nice... Well, you're... Yeah. Of course. Yeah. That's how you're my That's my mom's them. body. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, I think that's what my mom has. <laughs> it would be funny if we she all doesn't... said what we said, and then we looked back and we picked our mom's bodies. <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> I really did think when you said that, I really kind of thought like, "Look, I'm a thick man. Yeah, you know, I have women in my in my family who are kind of like, you know, big thighs. Uh-huh. You know, uh-huh. like that kind of like a like a thick, mm-hmm. you know, like your Gina Carano's without the MMA but I, training. But I think you'd be the opposite of what you are. I, that's I, that's what I like to think. Because right so. now I have big tits and like a flat ass <laughs> sure. as a man. <laughs> well, you I know. like th- this is this is Italian philosophy. It's like <laughs> if I was a woman, I would be the opposite. I got little tits and a flat ass. I have big tits and a big ace. Like it's, it's just the yin and yang. It's like yeah, you're, yeah, exact, yeah. you're the exact. Because there's nothing. If we know anything about gender, it's that a man is the exact opposite of a opposite woman. Opposite of a woman. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. And you, there's two. There, you could be one or the other. Yeah, yeah. There's only two choices. There's only two choices. Don't get us folks. fucking started yeah, right yeah, now, yeah. folks. That shit drives me insane. <laughs> that that drives, shit drives me drives fucking me up a wall. Up a wall now let's talk about what kind of girls' bodies we want. We're saying yeah. trans. Oh, I wonder what I would like do for fun yeah, if I was yeah, a girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, it's it's two hours. We're talking <laughs> about like our hair, the dress, the kinds of dresses. Eldis is on anthropology. Yeah. Yeah, we're yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I would wear like, that. <laughs> That's more of a Mike on brunch look. <laughs> but there's only two, and you can't switch. No matter how much you think it would be cool. I'll never be a girl. <laughs> and no one else will either. <laughs> it's not fair. <laughs> um, I would like to think, so I think I would be a thick girl. I, mm-hmm. I'll be honest here. Mm-hmm. I would be absolutely boned if I was a woman with my, with my like um, proportions. Because like uh-huh. it's so much harder to be like the loud, like you can be a loud, fun Fat lady, yeah. People like you, yeah. But the percentage is much smaller. Loud, fun, fat guy is one of the is one of the best fat it's people to best. be, yeah. And a lot of, if you if you take that like Rosie O'Donnell, uh-huh. straight Rosie O'Donnell, right? Take yeah. the lesbian that thing out of it, yeah, yeah. Straight Rosie O'Donnell, no one's no one treats her like they do John Candy, right? You know what I mean? Melissa McCarthy Melissa is the McCarthy's closest fun. we've gotten, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it took. But How like long? A, we yeah. never had a Melissa McCarthy until yeah, the two yeah. thousands. Yeah, you're telling me there were no fat, fun ladies in the fucking thirties. And then there like were, a, but they call them fat, you know, fat whales and shit like that. <laughs> right. They right. didn't get any cock. Yeah. A couple very charismatic ones. They, it's just a harder game, mm-hmm. and I just it's hard enough to just be a fat man. Mm-hmm. And fat people in society, no one respects. Right. Like on a baseline yeah, level. Yeah, yeah. Everyone thinks. I guarantee you, if there was a study yeah. and you just showed the fat version of someone and this like. Someone who lost thirty pounds, and you're like, "Who's smarter?" Hundred <laughs> yeah, percent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're pick. It can be the same person. Jared Logan used to have a joke where he's like, "Yeah, I'm interviewing for jobs, and I'm like a heavier guy, and you know that they're just coming in like this guy's gonna get marinara sauce everywhere. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's gonna microwave <laughs> fragrant leftovers. Yeah, his Chinese food will stink up the mm-hmm, you know mm-hmm. the, the break room. So yeah. I would like to think that I'd be a fat, fun l- lady. Mm-hmm. But it there's, would just yeah, be a right. there's not life. a lot of fat, fun ladies. It's, it's they just they're not respected in society yeah, the way of fat, yeah. fat. Like I, it just even Rebel Wilson people are like shut up exactly. You're, and then yeah, she's fucked both ways because it's like oh she's like a fat, fun lady, whatever. And then she loses weight, yeah. and they're like. Yeah. Look at this. Dude, she thinks she's hot. Yeah. We remember when you yeah, were yeah, fat, yeah. bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not going to trick us. How dare like, you? Yeah, how dare. <laughs> it's like you're, you, there's no good There's no good way mm-hmm. one or the other. But I think I would just be a fat, fun girl. I'm sucking dick so much. Mm-hmm. You know, everyone's mm-hmm. getting sucked off by me yeah. in high school. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Because the flip side of the inc- an incel becomes, if you f- to do Italian philosophy here mm-hmm. again, mm-hmm. a guy who really wants 
pussy but doesn't get it because yeah. he wants a connection yeah. with a girl. The flip side would be like, oh, somebody would let me suck their dicks. I'll suck anyone's dick if they're close to me. I would get ran through so fast if you were because I would because I would be looking for the connect the same connection I couldn't get. Yeah. When I was in high school, yeah. I just wanted you know what I mean. Yeah. You flip that around, I would have gotten ran through. I probably would be great at sucking dick. I'm good at eating pussy too. Uh, probably I, when I when I feel like I think back to the the women who are the best at sucking dick. Yeah, yeah. Some yeah, of them yeah. are a little yeah, a little, a little, heavy, little yeah. overweight, <laughs> a little on the heavy side, which is well, it's great. I think I married the wrong person actually. <laughs> yeah, you should you should have gone plus size. <laughs> should have gone plus size. Yeah, mm, interesting. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna think. You know, I it, out of my personal experience. I can't really say. I think that's. I think that's more fat phobic. Um, that's a more. That's a fat phobic stereotype where it's like. Oh, uh, that they're good at. Oh, the fat bitch loves sucking dick. Uh huh. Yeah. I, yeah, I, yeah. I will have to. Yeah. I do have to say. I have had some top notch head from women of all shapes and sizes here. But and in fact, probably the best top of my life was from a very petite. A very petite woman, I must say. So I hate okay, okay, you know I okay. love the fat community. You know, yeah, yeah, gals. Yeah, I'm sorry for Racine went went to bat for you. He said you're all real cock sucking slobs, <laughs> <laughs> and I said not all of them. <laughs> that um, would be funny to just like you get a so like you're dating a very overweight woman, and she's like, yeah, I don't do that, and then she's like, she puts a whole corn dog. Yeah, down. yeah, yeah. You <laughs> just, yeah. You see her take a full popsicle, <laughs> yeah. put it in the back yeah, of her yeah, throat, yeah. let it melt and yeah. drink it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you're yeah, like, yeah, yeah. come on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you looking at? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you take a picture? It'll last longer. <laughs> Eldis, what kind? We don't want to skip you in terms of what kind of woman would you be? Of course, I know you've gave it some yeah. thought. I think it'd be. I don't know. I think I feel like it'd just be somewhere in the like. Kind of frumpy librarian. <laughs> yes, <sort> of. <laughs> 100%. You would definitely be a frumpy librarian. Probably not that different from what I look like when my hair is yeah, long. Yeah, that's the thing. You're <laughs> what we were picking up on earlier, calling you a lesbian. It's like you on the gender spectrum are in the bell curve. You're here. You know what I mean? It's like. <laughs> Here's feminine, here's masculine. You're kind of in the right where the curve goes. Your yeah. hips, literally. You chop your cock off. It's really a shame you're not trans, honestly, because you do have the hips for it. You would have some nice titties on estrogen without question. I remember one time in elementary school, I played uh, Miss Trench Bull. I remember in Matilda. We were, that, we were in that production uh, together. Yeah. <laughs> and I feel like, you know, it probably wouldn't be too far from that. But like much more mild man. By the way, you Trunchbull. crushed Miss Trunchbull, dude. <laughs> nice. I was pissed off because you know I, we were, but we're you know. Yeah. I'm at the time. I'm like a fucking. No, they I'm didn't. Ham. Yeah, they didn't cast you. I think I was. I think I was. I might have been the Matilda? fat kid that ate cake. Oh yeah. I think I had a mind. I'm type very cast. minor role. Yeah, yeah. I was typecast, and I will say, I was young. We were what in third grade. Is that, yeah, I think it was third grade. So something. I still hadn't Spent gotten some really Hayden. ambitious drama teacher being like, and Stavros, you're my Matilda. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, maybe I was her dad. Maybe it was Danny DeVito. That mm -hmm. would have been a good one. Yeah. But I want, but, but, and I think I was like, wow, that's how you knew Eldis crushed it. Cause third grade me, I was hating. I was like, damn. <laughs> mm -hmm. That man, I wish I did that. That he fucking crushed it. He really, yeah. Every, he was getting it. It was accolades. elementary school. Elementary huh? school. You yeah. did the whole, the whole show. I think it was scenes from it, wasn't it? I think it was scenes or like some condensed version in like the library. It was in the library, like yeah, in front yeah, of like yeah. twenty people or something. Yeah, yeah. But, but mm. honestly, I literally have an image of Eldis doing yeah. that. That's to this day. that's fun as a kid because like you know you get to like dress dress as and play a woman. It just feels like a little flourish. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah, also yeah. the nineties, yeah. so different than now. Of like, course, someone's parents would probably get mad at that shit. Or yeah, something. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I played know. Allie Hackam in Oklahoma in uh, in high school, and I. Definitely wore brown face. Uh, <laughs> There's like definitely pictures of me as an Arab guy <laughs> and with brown, with like with like shit brown makeup on my face. It wasn't even yeah. like subtle, you know. It was oh, like, dude, I know. I mean, yeah. in college, people were doing like in college, it got to the point where people were like doing realistic skin tones uh -huh. and that's what they thought was woke <laughs> yeah like yeah. there was a girl who did who was bob marley just the, the dumbest stoner uh -huh. you've ever met with like she had white dreads even yeah, yeah. and it's like you're almost there yeah. don't put <laughs> and she just put on like light black face and yeah. she's like yeah. nah but it's not mm -hmm. black she's like this is what his skin was and it's yeah. like yeah this is still wrong yeah. and she was also like a tan well, we didn't know we did, yeah but it's just like it was just her it's funny because she thought about it mm -hmm. it wasn't like mm -hmm. like she thought about it and mm -hmm. she was like i should do light brown <laughs> she wasn't like i shouldn't yeah, yeah, do it yeah because even at that same party there was a friend of ours dressed as little wayne uh-huh 
white guy and you crushed it. Yeah. Didn't do it. Did the didn't tattoos, it, yeah. did a wig. Yeah. So it was like we we kind of uh it kind of like they intersected there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um I guess it is it is you kind of inherently know that that's wrong, right? It just so, I mean, I don't know. I don't I, you know. Yeah. I don't know if you do inherently what you know? It, what were you thinking? We were throwing on the the brown face. I for, was ordered to do it yeah. by the director. <laughs> the, of good the, play. Yeah. <laughs> the good Nazi. The good Nazi. Yeah, might have I was seen. just following orders. <laughs> <laughs> I just did what Mrs. Cusack told me to do. And, and, all right, yeah, you're the boss. You and know? this is this was where you you grew up in Jersey, right? Jersey, yeah, Jersey, yes. Yeah. So you were. Um, I'm not familiar with Oklahoma. Eldis, are you? It's no, like. Really. Uh, yeah, there's a guy Elvis who's like into a, gay shit, but literature uh-huh. and shit and plays. Not, I'm not, I'm not going as not, far as musicals. musicals. I feel, I feel like you're more in the musical realm than I am. I'm, I would probably say we're, I'm closer to musicals than you are. Uh, I've dated girls that love musicals, mm-hmm. and um, I do like some gay shit. It's in fun. General. It's fun. To, fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm trying to think what the best. I was. It's we were. That's another that one. Part. In elementary school, we. I was. I would do musicals. I w- before my voice dropped, I could sing. Oh yeah. Yeah. So I was like this fat little, ah, like uh-huh. with a high ass voice, and I could <laughs> yeah. sing. Okay. So I did do musicals in elementary school. Yeah. What was the thing we did? The Big Wheel. What was that clown show? Clowns. We did? I think it was just called. We just clowns. called clowns. Yeah. Interesting. I barely remember that shit, but yeah. I got a pick of me from that with a little top hat. Shout out. We did have a gay uh, drama teacher who was, fu- he crushed it. Yeah. He was, I don't even want to say, I don't want to say his name just because, but he was, if, if you're listening, you're the man, but we don't nice. want to put you on blast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He might knows? not be out to his family or something. He might still be stuck in 2003. Yeah, but it know. was funny because um, uh, we just didn't, you know, we're, he was again in se- it was second or third grade and we went to see him. Remember, what was he in like? Peter Pan or something? I don't remember. I don't think I even realized he was. Gay we didn't know he was time. gay. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. Like uh-huh. we literally, I remember asking my mom You're about like, like, Dad, this guy at my school is awesome. Yeah, no, literally, yeah. it was a thing where I was like, I wonder what Mister. Oh, I almost said it. I wonder what his. I wonder what his wife is like. <laughs> and my mom yeah. laughing, and I'm like, oh, yeah. what? And she's like, I don't think he has a wife. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, just a just a puss hound, I guess. I mean, the man can sing, he can dance. <laughs> he must be essing and effing, essing and effing. <laughs> all the time, <laughs> but yeah, this is good. I can do this. I can. I cannot curse. Yeah, yeah. Well, we we totally we'll blew see. it with the what kind of fat bitch, uh-huh. what kind of fat cock sucking oh, okay. goblin. We didn't we even curse. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think we got to titties at around five minutes. So. <laughs> okay, okay. okay, we should be okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If yeah. I was a lady, I would put my mouth on so much penis. <laughs> I would really sound like a doctor. I would be performing a lot of fellatio. I would be a fellatio lots demon. Lots of men, yeah. I would be the demon I, of fellatio. I would be the Greek town slam piece My for sure. vagina would never stop dripping semen. Oh, <laughs> uh, fuck. Did you, do a lot of, did you do a lot of theater when you were in? Were you like a theatrical kid? Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, I went to like theater. Yeah, it was like kind of like my thing. Of course. You know, oh, yeah. yeah, did improv, oh, all nice. that stuff. Yeah, I like, uh, yeah, it's fun. Yeah. You know? I, remember, I mean, I was the same thing. I went to this program called the School for the Twigs program at the Baltimore School for the Arts. Yeah. And it was... I was like, this is sick. I and love yeah, there's girls. Yeah, there were girls. You know? There was you girls. Can, True. Yeah. Um, you can like give them a massage maybe. If, yeah. you, if you're not too we- fat and weird. <laughs> I was too fat and weird. But <laughs> but if you play your cards right. No, it's you know? true. Yeah. There were hot girls. Because like we all we knew was fucking Greek town. Yeah. Like an eldest yeah. moved out. Eldest is a trader. He went to the suburbs in third grade. Okay. But all we knew was East Baltimore, like uh-huh. Southeast Baltimore. Uh-huh. What's, is that like more urban? It's just, it's yeah, pretty, sir. It's trash. Yeah, and it's yeah. like, it was very diverse. Like we did have like, like our school growing up, shout out to John Rura Elementary School. Yeah. Uh, it had like a bunch of different like flags because we had a huge Greek community. Uh-huh. We had a ton of, um, Put your mic a little lower, oh, Mike. Yep. Uh, we had a we had a ton. We had, you know we had a bunch of we had a big Greek community. We had a bunch a bunch of like, um, uh, you know South South American immigrants. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A lot of there was like a weird like even though there there weren't that many. I think there's also the hospital. There was Bayview right there. So there was like a lot of like uh, Indian and Chinese kids from yeah. like who were first generation yeah, like doc because yeah. we they were getting they were building up. Hopkins had just bought our shitty hospital, uh-huh. so they were like building it up. With, uh-huh. I guess I guess before that it was just like. 
you know, stupid Greek doctors that were like, yeah. uh, only smoke a little bit if you have flu. <laughs> yeah. If you have the flu, only smoke uh, Marlboro Lights, no Reds when you have uh, Yeah, my high, school was pretty, my high school was pretty diverse too, and I, I think that's why I'm a little racist. Because, mm. like, if you had to be around teenagers, <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, you, yeah, that's, yeah, you like, yeah, form yeah, your yeah, opinion yeah, yeah. very quickly. Well, our, actually, our, our shit was, like, not... Our elementary school was... Uh, or it was like very diverse, but you know, pretty diverse. But then when we when when I went to middle school anyway, and we had we split off, it was mainly like it was it was like you know there's like ten percent white kids, uh-huh. mostly black kids, and then like you know, um, just your, your a random smattering of what of whoever else. Yeah. Um, so it wasn't like as much of a melting pot as yeah. like as elementary school was, but it was a melting pot. But everybody was fucking poor, and everybody uh-huh. was like all the go- <laughs> like, dude. I don't know if I've told the story in the pod yet, but. One of the in preschool, you know, they match you up with like a uh, like a partner, a play partner. And I had this little girl who was like, "Let's play house." And her idea of playing house was she put <laughs> yeah. a she put a I've baby, story, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the baby doll in her dress. <laughs> and she would and yell she at you. Yelled at me <laughs> to, cause, to, and she was like sweeping. She's like, "You don't do nothing." <laughs> and I was like, and I was like, dude, I was this fat little nerd. Yeah. Like my family wanted to have me so bad. We was like, it was like I was an in vitro kid. Oh yeah. First. Yeah. So I was sheltered, yeah. like so sheltered. I had like a Greek accent. I didn't mm-hmm. even speak English well when oh, I went wow. to yeah. when I went to preschool, and I was like. So scared yeah. of this, like you know, little, she, little she white was trash America, girl. Yeah, white trash. Yeah, girl. yeah a little white. Yeah. Trash. So anyway, and I go to Twigs, and that's the thing about Baltimore is like there are, there are like rich communities that just you you don't usually run into. Mm-hmm. And then there at Twigs, it was like all these like rich girls that were like, I'm gonna go to the school for the arts. You yeah. know, they were like, <laughs> and they were hot as like I, we didn't have the one the one. The one group we didn't have in Greek Town was Jews, yeah. and that's when I was like, "Damn, what are these fucking curly haired girls with big titties?" You know, <laughs> yeah. I'm like 13, they're uh-huh. 13, they have you know big ass tits. I'm like, "This is fucking cool." And then, and I was like, I don't know, it was just like you know, I was I was okay at acting, whatever. It was just, I felt mm-hmm. comfortable there in a mm-hmm. way, maybe yeah. I didn't. Yeah, and I, I kind of started talking to girls, and then you're probably funny, right? Because I remember funny, like, yeah, yeah exactly, yeah. exactly. I was funny for sure. Yeah. When you don't have the outlet, you're funnier. Yeah, and then. Um, the gayest thing in the world. Ironically, you didn't, like really date or anything, right? When no, you were in no, middle school, because no. I because I didn't, but I think I could have. Well, exactly. Yeah. That's that's the thing. Is like what what annoys me is that in my head. So I quit mm-hmm. the after school program yeah. in middle school to play sports because uh-huh. I was like I don't want because I was like I don't want to do no gay shit. Yeah, be, be you know be in the theater club because you know the guy. The guy was gay as hell, and you have yeah. all this like homophobia when you're just oh, some of like course, yeah. when you're like especially uh, back then. Exactly, it's like kids today don't know. Yeah, they don't know. Like, they don't yeah. know the ingra- You know, growing up in a low income immigrant yeah. community in the late nineties, early two thousands, we were homophobic. <laughs> what do you want? We've <laughs> right, right, we've right. you know. So I had all this like shit where I'm like, oh, I don't want to do gay shit. Yeah. Let me go instead, hang out with just dudes, mm-hmm. get no get, pussy, mm-hmm. and play soccer or football or whatever the fuck it was. And in hindsight, if I had done the gay thing, yeah. I probably would have gotten my dick sucked you probably at got an early dick age. When you were like 12. When I was, yeah, exactly. Yeah, instead yeah, of yeah. having to wait when I was like, instead of having like some girl rub my limp penis because I was yeah. too drunk when I was like 17 <laughs> yeah, for the yeah. first time. You yeah. know, a girl who might have had herpes. Yeah. And the bar is so low. The bar is so low when you're 12 years old for what's funny. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. I would just like watch. Watch Comedy Central and then like repeat stuff I heard yeah, on TV. Dude. People make oh it. my move yeah. when I was at, when I was a hack at I was you started everyone starts as a hack whether you know yeah, it or not of course it's whether you do it when you're ten or you do it when you're thirty. <laughs> when you're 30. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would when we had these Greek school or these these Greek trips to like you know King's Dominion or whatever like they would take us to a water park or whatever or even New York sometimes from Baltimore yeah. I would go and like. A, a to z jokes dot com and uh-huh. I would just read uh-huh. and I would and I would read and I'd be like ah, that's not good enough yeah and yeah, I'd be yeah. like yeah. okay okay yeah that's yeah, good yeah. and I literally put a set list together yeah. of jokes I found on the internet yeah one of my big ones was like uh, the classic like would you like you know the, the there was a gorilla that needed to be they needed to have a a baby or whatever and it was, essentially it boils down to like they ask it, it, the joke boils down to would you have sex for a mil- with a gorilla for a million dollars? And and the guy goes, all right, but you're going to have to give me a second to get a million dollars. I still remember yeah, that one yeah, crushing. Yeah. Yeah. That one got me to feel a titty on the back of the bus. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Nice. Like, 
Yeah. Yeah. I had a Rodney Dangerfield cassette tape Hell and, yeah, and my dude. friend Mark, he was in eighth grade. And so the eighth grader sat in the back of the bus and yeah. he like invited me to the back of the bus. That's awesome. He was like, do some stand up, And I just did like, yeah, my wife wants <laughs> yeah. to, my wife wants to have sex in the back seat of the car. She wants me to drive. Yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> cool. But That's, I was also like, yeah, I was chubby. So I didn't realize that I probably could have, I think there was a girl that I, that sat in front of me at, at play practice. And mm. I would like, I had like me and my friend Nick had a character. He was like, we just acted gay. <laughs> Would, uh, comedy was, so he would tell people his name. <laughs> yeah, he would be like, "I'm hi, I'm Twan," and I'd be like, <laughs> "I'm Renee." <laughs> and we would just do these like gay, just act gay. Twan and Renee, and yeah. you would do this a yeah. lot. I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. wrist is a classic. The wrist is a classic. Yeah. Uh, and I think this girl that sat in front of me, I think she did like me, mm, but I, I don't know. I know. I'm, I'm well, I, I remember well, another one that haunts me. Yeah, is that. You know, I went to so I went to middle school, and like I, think I said, I heard her say like "I like you" one time, like under her breath. But I was like, "Oh, she's not talking to me." Uh, excuse me, I'm in the middle of Twan and Renee. <laughs> yeah. I'm about to suck yeah. Renee's cock. <laughs> so why don't you just sh chill out? Yeah, yeah, Let yeah, me get yeah. through this. Yeah. We've been practicing. Me, can we finish our bit, please? Can we finish our bit. We're Twan and Renee, sixty nine, <laughs> after going antiquing all morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like this lamp, Renee. Why don't you put it in my ass, Juan? <laughs> it's like they're really gay. <laughs> the How do they do it? Yeah, the cafeteria is rocking. <laughs> Raucous applause. Yeah. The yearbook just says class clown. Yeah. It's you like this. Yeah, the, yeah. <laughs> Your shirt rolled up. Yeah, yeah shirt rolled up. Hoop earrings. <laughs> yeah, there was there was definitely literally. I think again, I don't know if I've told the story on this one or come down or what. See, but that that type of comedy is like over now. But that is sort of fun. Like it's like fun. well, yeah, it's like a kid doing that. If my kid did that, I would like laugh. Yeah. I'd yeah. be like, you can't, you can, you can't do that outside the house. Good instincts, pal. Good instincts. You, you're, you know what a what <laughs> yeah. a bit is. But it's the same way. It's like. A you baby have. being like, my my shirt is orange. You're like, mm -hmm. good job, buddy. Mm -hmm. But if a grown man was like, my shirt is orange, you'd be like, shut up, shut you up. fucking idiot. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's co like, baby comedy is thinking anything different than you is funny. Mm -hmm. And gay, flam anything flamboyant, flamboyant is funny. Yeah, so yeah. something different and flamboyant is going to be hilarious. Yeah, but yeah, it's like, yeah. the same way it's not impressive. Yeah. If a if a grown man knows what color his shirt is, right. it's not impressive if he acts not, gay, right? You know, but if a but baby can act gay, if like a five year old can act gay and, and crush the voice, but there's elements like, of comedy in that, like doing the you know doing the course. character, like exaggerating, exactly. you know, picking something about a, a yeah. character and exaggerating yeah, yeah, parts yeah, yeah, of it, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so basically, yeah. what we're saying is you can be homophobic until like you're nine. Yeah, right, right, right. right. <laughs> I was like, if you're trying to get into comedy and you're like in your mid twenties, just start acting gay in front of, in front of the mirror and just kind of see where that goes and then maybe you graduate to like Chinese uh, a woman you know? yeah, hey. Red, actually um, I remember this old comedy special there was this uh, Red Skelton was on PBS and mm -hmm. he's like an old timey yeah, comedian yeah, yeah. and he, he does this routine and he goes alright my next routine I call this uh, woman driving a car that's awesome. And he just he kind of like, yeah, yeah, he's <laughs> yeah, just like, yeah, yeah. he's just like doing his makeup, uh, and he's doing it in a theater in front of like, yeah, you know, two thousand. And that, people. whoa, that was yeah, the, that was the bit. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Oh, my pussy hurts. <laughs> oh, geez, my clam is soaking. Yes. yes. <laughs> Uh -huh, that's all. Yeah. Well, it is funny. To, it's interesting to look at how like comedy evolves. Yeah. Um. Because yeah. Because because we're because it's it's now it's evolving past us. For sure. There's something else. There's new stuff that's yeah, coming yeah, yeah. that we don't and I, understand. By the way, I'm not going to find it funny. No. I'm going yeah. to be like You don't have to. I, I'm good. Yeah. You can just check out. And yeah. you, you, by the way, don't say it's not funny. Just understand you're old and it doesn't matter. Right. And what you have to say is not interesting anymore. Yeah. If it fucking ever was. Yeah. It is funny to just watch like stand up from the 90s and you're like. Yeah. This cocksucker got, got a right. Got a got a, th uh, c a TV show with eleven seasons mm -hmm. off this shit. Mm -hmm. Off of essentially woman driving her car. Mm -hmm. A yeah. little updated. Yeah. But hey. But then you look at like Gen Z kids on TikTok and they'll be like, "Yeah, millennials are not funny. Millennials just think that." Being racist is, is yeah, funny, yeah, yeah. Like, and you're like, and hey, like, you got kind of a you got us point. there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, <laughs> you got us there, and that's but we're not make a funny joke <clears throat> also at the same time, which plenty of them do. Yeah, which is Gen Z is Gen Z funny? 
how old? What's the oldest the Gen Z person? Can I would be? guess like twenty five. That's that's There's probably some guess. of them. Twenty five, yeah, twenty six. I don't know. I don't know. Who gives, yeah, a, who fuck? gives a fuck? <laughs> fuck, fuck them. We're, we're podcasting. Fuck them in their we're youth. gonna podcast until we die. Yeah, dude. yeah. <laughs> I hope. I hope. Yeah. I hope uh, thoughts like "What kind of bitch would I be?" <laughs> are profitable well into my fifties. Right, right, yeah. Because it ain't stopping. <laughs> yeah. I do like when. So you were a chubby. Kid, were you a chubby kid your whole life? Because that's interesting. Because I know. Because yeah. you do have a little bit of like you have a pinch of body dysmorphia. Mm-hmm. You constantly you worry about your weight mm-hmm. in a way that I'm like, why does he care? He's, you know, you're a handsome guy. You're married. Thanks. You have yeah. a beautiful son. It's like yeah. you, you should be past giving a fuck. But clearly, yeah. there's something in you that you still worry about, like how your body looks, all that stuff. Were you? I mean, were you bullied because you were like fat and shit yeah, like that? Yeah, I think a, I think a little bit, but I yeah. mean, everybody did. But yeah. it would probably be better. I think it's better to get bullied for that a little bit than to sure. be like, you know, I don't know. Do well, I, I don't know. It's wor- yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's working. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, it's, dude, you're doing yeah, pretty. Yeah. You're hey, doing listen, I'm the exception well. that proves the rule. But uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> but I do think I do. I just I've had tits forever. Yeah, and I don't know what to do about that because I've always my tits have always been bigger, like the most <laughs> prominent part of my body. <laughs> I don't know what to like. I wouldn't say your tits are your most prominent part. That's, but if I take this, my shirt off, they're always like. This is your body dysmorphia you're talking right now. Yeah. Were you bullied for your tits specifically? No, but I, I you, you know, my mom had to like. Family members that like pinched your tits? No, but my mom had to write a note and be like, he can't do the scoliosis screening with all the, <laughs> where all the boys take their shirts off because they're going to laugh at his tits. Uh, <laughs> do you have a then, memory of someone specifically laughing at your tits as a boy? No, I just always like knew that I had them, and my mom was just being a mom. She was like, "That's because you have a hole in your chest, and we're gonna get you surgery to fix that." <laughs> Did you get? And the I surgery? just never got the surgery. So, you, know? so you actually have a hole in your chest? <laughs> no, I don't think I do. Oh, okay. I think I just have a fat, just like some, some fatty nice deposits yum there. Yum. Yeah, because I'm that's, not super like overweight, but no. I don't know. They're just like pretty. Yeah. <laughs> They're well, that's, there. They're definitely see, there. That's, so the idea that you would be a woman with little tits is hilarious because clearly you'd have. Humongous tits. Yeah. If even as a man, but no. But I have big tits for a man. But that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Because sometimes, because we had a friend who had like straight up breasts. Uh-huh. <laughs> like yeah. We had a friend growing up with yeah. like the ones we were talking about earlier. Like no, but were, if I sit up like this, I look like a like a monkey. Yeah. Like I looked like a, a lady monkey, <laughs> a mom monkey with like a little baby. <laughs> Was yeah. the rest of your family fat? Do you have fat people no. in your family? No, my dad. No, my dad's pretty like lean. Uh-huh. Yeah, and okay. then I guess my brother, my younger brother, the autistic one, he's a little heavy, but okay. he's, you know, yeah. if you ate nothing but cheese, it's yeah, all day. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. If you had the sickest life of all time, <laughs> eating snacks, yeah, yeah, watching yeah. your favorite cartoons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you and then, a couple of And then if they don't give you your snacks, you get to scream and <laughs> throw, a, throw a fit and they have to call the cops. And you have to hope the cops don't shoot your son. So... The best, the best thing to do is just, just hand the snacks over. Keep them loaded over. up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, keep yeah. them loaded up with shark bites. Yeah, yeah. I'll be home. My parents are like, there's potato chips in the car if you want some. <laughs> like, like, he's a bear. Like, there's a bear in the fucking house. Uh, yeah, they're, they're in the car, though. Yeah, they, when they have pizza, the pizza goes in the garage on top of the recycling can. You have to, like, go into the garage and, like... <laughs> yeah. I love he hasn't figured out the pizza system yet. His nose hasn't taken him there. He, yeah, he has, but they okay. do their best to like. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, minimize uh, it, minimize yeah. it. Yeah. Interesting. How many brothers do you have? Two, Two. and a sister. Oh, shit. I didn't know you had a sister, too. Yeah, she's the youngest. So you have a, yeah. you have a pretty big family. Yeah. And no one was, nobody else was chubby, huh? Um, No, my sister was a little big. My my bro, my one brother, he was kind of like lean like my dad, and he mm, played basketball. The older brother? Uh, Younger brother. Oh, younger. But he was kind of so like my oldest. dad. I'm the oldest. Gotcha. But he was kind of like my dad's favorite that you now know. we're getting to it you yeah. had a you had a fucking a lean sexy younger brother a lean sexy younger brother who, who played who, basketball who played basketball yeah. who your dad respected your respected, dad clearly yeah. didn't fuck with you didn't fuck with me <laughs> didn't fuck with me we're getting to it yeah, yeah your yeah. skinny dad and your skinny brother loved each other yeah and fat mike with the tits gets yeah. left out yeah yeah where would you rank your would you just put yourself below your autistic brother in the rankings i was probably <laughs> yeah because they spend more time with him he seems probably more yeah, yeah, and then they like snacked up. He's fun. Yeah, they like they liked my sister because she was like the baby, the baby. You know, so you got yeah. fucked. Yo, I so kind of got fucked in the yeah. power in the Racine family power rankings. You're number four. I might be number four. Yeah, 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 yeah. or it's a dead yeah. heat with your autistic. Well, because the special needs kid, you just kind of get like you're the oldest, you a, so you kind of just get like you have to figure it out. Course, you know, so I was course. like I was like working when I was fourteen, and uh, you know, yeah, I was like 
they yeah. really left me to kind of fend for myself. And did you have a moment where you broke out of that like chubby nerd? Uh, I think did maybe you use when the I resentment? started. Do you use the resentment towards your family and having tits and not getting pussy to like get like I feel like Italian yeah. children start lifting weights at like fifteen? I did lift weights. Yeah. Actually, you know, funny story. I actually kinda like I kind of sort of believed in Santa until I was thirteen. <laughs> Because, That's because, awesome. because I, I, you know, I had like my younger siblings, so I kind of like held on to right, it for them, right, you know. Right, right, right. But I was like, but I didn't, I wasn't sure, and I was kind of, I was kind of. <laughs> you were on the fence. I was on the fence. Listen, you had your, th you had your questions about yeah. Santa. I had my, but you still I had believed. my doubts. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And uh, and I so so then I asked for weights one year. Hell yeah! And so at like three in the morning, I just heard my dad dropping the weights on the floor, and me like, ah, god damn it. <laughs> And I was like, all right, there's no, all right, it's not Santa bringing Santa's me this, this bringing weeder me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> bench and squat rack. <laughs> That's awesome. Did yeah. you get shredded off the weights? Uh, yeah, I did. Yeah, I, I got a little, nice. I got a little jacked. I would lift in my, uh, but then I, I neglected comedy a little bit. Mm. So I remember, so it's like I was fat and then I was funny and then I started lifting weights. But then what? All, what's also nice is you lift weights, your, uh, your dad stops hitting you. <laughs> My mom stopped hitting me around twelve, right? And then my when you dad, were bigger than her, yeah. And yeah, then my yeah. dad. So part of me kind of feels like I still need to kick my dad's ass a little bit, you know. You could take him now, right? Yeah, I need to see his dick and kick his ass. You've never seen your dad's dick? No, I've seen it, uh, but it's but much it's bigger in your head. In my head, it's like the size of a coke can. <laughs> right, so I need right, to like. Right. I'll say, yeah, I saw my dad's penis later Recent? in life. Oh, you did? Not recently, yeah, yeah. but like you know, yeah, later in I, life. Yeah, you know, later when you're in a life, grown man. When I'm a grown man, yeah, and it is. I, unfortunately, he does have a bigger penis. He does, than me, and yeah. that uh, that is tough. Oh, okay, he's got a nice piece, okay. but it's not the giant it's cock the that I used to that think you remember, it was. That it is and that bad, helps. Yeah. That helps a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I almost want to like your father's penis. Uh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Um, I think it, I think his has definitely got to be bigger than mine too, <laughs> which also makes me pretty upset. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Damn, dude. To swallow, Mike, but. you gotta, you gotta have a bigger dick than your dad for the podcast, dude. You're the, you're our only hope. You're our Obi Wan Kenobi. Yeah. Can you call him? And well, FaceTime I got I do have a bigger dick than my son. That's big. So, That's yeah. big. Yeah, 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 yeah. Show him your cock often. <laughs> yeah. Burn yeah. that into his fucking brain. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Beat his ass and, su and suck his dick. Yeah. No, but <laughs> Beat your but, dad's ass and suck him off. But part of me feels like I need to, like, bring my dad into the woods, like, lure him into the woods and, like, pull his pants down. <laughs> just get a nice, get a nice look at his dick. <laughs> just to know. <laughs> and then be like, thanks, dad. And just, he's like, what and the then fuck? Pop. Yeah. <laughs> and they yeah, get yeah. him with one good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You must have gotten it, because if they liked, if he liked your brother, mm -hmm. your sister was a girl and the youngest. Yeah. Your brother's autistic. Yeah. Special needs. Yeah, you I must have gotten. I must. I think every I did. Yeah. Wallop. Yeah. You got four. He hit kids. my brother too. He yeah. would get you know with a with a belt and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but uh, that's like that's like in a weird way, in a weird way that's like inclusivity. It's like yeah. hey, we're gonna hit the we're gonna, fucking. We're gonna hit, <laughs> we're gonna hit that one too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, they didn't hit my special oh, needs brother. My other that yeah. would have been funny. If that would have like, been funny. It's yeah. like look, yeah, yeah. he's got to feel normal. Look, I do it to everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I want he will go to school and I will hit him. <laughs> and I will not allow him to date a black retard <laughs> the same way I don't let him date black regular girls. He's an Italian child uh, through and through. Yeah, he'll see my penis regularly. <laughs> <laughs> he will know I have a bigger penis than him. Yeah. My kid likes to, uh, I can't walk around the house naked because he'll like to, gra he grabs at my penis, which is very weird. I don't know what that's about. I don't know what that's yeah, about. Yeah, I mean, I guess if you're a baby and it's just something dangling. Babies it's not, love it dangling. It doesn't really dangle. I got you. It just kind of sits there. Uh, he's supposed to grab your balls? Yeah, he'll like grab my dick and like, <laughs> and he, he'll get he'll get his nail like in my pee hole sometimes, you know? And it, it's really, it really hurts. They have little I'm sharp like, baby nails. I'm like, dude. stop it! <laughs> Don't ever fucking do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's when you hit your kid. Yeah, yeah. And I say to Deb, I'm like, does he grab your pussy like that? And just think, you know. Yeah, does she's he? like, I don't walk with my pussy out. <laughs> she's, she's got a point there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's got you on that one. <laughs> yeah. But no, I, but I've never seen him like grab at her pussy. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I don't think know. it's more, it might, look, it might not dangle. Yeah. But it's out. Yeah. In a way, a pussy is more. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know mm -hmm. what your wife's pussy looks like. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, don't? know what kind of lips. You don't. <laughs> I thought everybody did. I don't know what kind of. I thought know. if you perform at Caroline's, you get to see my wife's pussy. <laughs> 
No, no, I came. I think she was gone by the time oh, I was okay. past the Carolines. Okay. Um, <laughs> so I don't know if we're talking about a lippy. Sit. Sure, I've seen some mm. some lippy pussies that I guess a baby could grab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, she's not. No, 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 no. So that's what I'm saying. I think it's more of a yeah. But yeah, dude. Unfortunately, you're gonna have to start wearing underwear until he knows it's weird to grab a to, dick, yeah. and then you pull your dick out again. Yeah, to show him who's boss. But you kind of have to figure out if your kids get. People say I don't care, but you gotta like figure out if he's gay, mm -hmm. just so you can encourage him to one way or the other, whatever it is. Yeah. But I don't think him grabbing your dick is how you figure it out. Yeah, I hope that. <laughs> <laughs> you show your kid get straight porn and gay porn. Yeah. You have two TVs, uh -huh. and you're like, you see which one he crawls to. Yeah, yeah. And you just it's like a TikTok yeah. challenge where they <laughs> run away. <laughs> see which one he goes. To. Let's see if my son is gay. <laughs> Finding out if my son is gay. <laughs> Oh, and that doesn't get banned, but my, my videos, yeah. 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 Uh, you, you're, you're rooting for a gay son, is that correct? Um, yeah, I mean, if he is, I just want to make sure he's sure. like the best gay guy sure, that he sure, can be, sure, sure, you know? Because sure. now, now entertainment is like full of, they're all doing very well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you want to make sure that he's like so if he's gay, you're gonna... the right way. I don't think he is, though. Okay. He's into sports. He's okay. very, he's a lot, but How I don't know. How old is he? He's uh, two years? almost two, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You never know. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I think you. I think you'd start telling what, like four, like the most. Yeah. Uh, some kids are so obviously gay at like mm -hmm. three, mm -hmm. at the earliest. But mm -hmm. then you know others might take up until like yeah, thirteen. You know, some people don't. Some people it's like so obvious. Yeah. And that is awesome. I well, love just, sassy there's sassy that toddler, dude. That's one of the best. Well, because it's funny because you hear these stories about, like, you know, Tiger Woods' dad, like, coaching. But, like, right. what if you could be that good of a coach for your gay son? <laughs> yeah. And you're just, like, you're just, like, showing him, like, d real housewives yeah. and being, like, yeah, yeah, now, what yeah, do you, yeah. she's kind of a bitch, yeah, huh? Yeah, like, yeah, what do you yeah. think of this? What do you, is she serving cunt, would you say? Yeah. <laughs> cunt. She's cunty. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's chuggy, daddy. <laughs> I would love to see a baby. Yeah, that would be great. A baby watching RuPaul. Yeah. Being like, "She's fat. <laughs> Get that fat slob off my TV." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I would love I would it would be nice to have some some gay children in the family. Mm -hmm. But, you know, your 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 nieces are too young to know one way or the other. Yeah, but I I I doubt I mean, the older one definitely. She's like so girly. Yeah, she's yeah. Like clearly very yeah. heteronormative yeah. or whatever. <laughs> so far, yeah. And the new baby, I mean, <laughs> the new baby, <laughs> the uh, two week old. Yeah, yeah. yeah, she's. We our friend Christine, like the be the only the baby that's probably I'm closest to, our you know, one of our best friends. She was she was our old roommate in this apartment. Mm -hmm. She recently had a kid. Okay, so maybe he's gay. Yeah, we'll see. Nice. Yeah, I know you try to like figure it out just because my little brother wants a gay son like he, he does. truly wants like a gay son he wants to like sit you he wants to be good yeah. at dancing and singing see that's what i thought i would have because yeah. i was like a theater kid and everything. <laughs> yeah. so like i'm a theater kid i podcast i get on stage yeah, and i share yeah, yeah. my thoughts you know yeah, yeah, and it's yeah. like but he's really into sports yeah so now i have to like get into but that's sports. cool too i would like a gay son that's good at sp then you're really then you're making really money, making money yeah because that would be huge like yeah. there was a rumor that aaron Rodgers was gay, mm -hmm. you know, the quarterback, he was mm -hmm. the Packers quarterback or whatever, because there was that, that one guy from the Raiders came out, and there was that guy, Michael Sam, who mm. kissed his twink, the black guy who kissed uh -huh. his twink white boyfriend uh -huh. when he got drafted. Uh -huh. and he didn't like, really go anywhere, though. He wasn't very good. It yeah. ended up, he's not that good. That twink boyfriend's like the Kardashian of <laughs> yeah, yeah, twink yeah. boyfriends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ruins yeah. It was all, <laughs> dude, it was, yeah, yeah, he has the Kardashian curse. Yeah. But it was awesome to see, like... Because you know there were racist homophobe guys sure. that saw a giant yeah. black guy kiss a little white guy. Just didn't know what upset yeah, them more. Yeah, it's like, what is pissing me off? Which one am I matter at? <laughs> um, but it would like if some superstar was yeah. gay. Yeah, that would be sick, dude. I would mm -hmm. love that. Yeah, because I mean I think they did a little bit in the tw in Twenty One Jump Street where it was like they go back to school oh, the and the bullies, all the gay guys are bullies now. Like the yeah, gay kids yeah, yeah. are bullies because they're funnier. Yeah, they're yeah. sharper. Yeah, yeah. But I wonder with less oppression. I mean, not that we're gonna have less oppression because they're, they're trying to roll back shit. Yeah. Like, no, know. it's I, it does feel pretty different though. Yeah, they they well, are trying you, to roll stuff back. It, it's yeah. weird. It's fucking weird. Yeah, all the like all the transphobia and all the like maybe and then like people that are like 
marriage should be between a man and a woman. It's like, we're back to this back again? Back to this, yeah. So, may, but in a perfect world, if like, you know, oppression was disappearing, yeah. I wonder if it would affect how funny and awesome they are. Because right, like, right. if you're say, like, for example, New York City, white, rich guys. a lot of them like, had to be funny. Yeah. Are not funny anymore. They're not funny anymore. You know what I mean? They're like, yeah. they, in fact, all they do is like steal from like funny trans black women or like drag queens. Right, right, like right, they, right. They're like, they are hacks. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, they're, they're squares. But I bet you like gay guys in Alabama are hilarious. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, because mm-hmm. that's the historically art comes from the most, you know, yeah. maybe we're overdoing it here. Maybe. But like, I wonder if in a couple generations, like corny people are just, gay guys are just as corny as anyone. But for now, yeah. It would be nice to just have some gay, like a gay star quarterback. Mm-hmm. That would be good. Well, they're going to start sending straight white people to jail. So we'll be like <laughs> yeah. the cool ones. We'll be the, get to be the cool ones again. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's about to be illegal. We'll have a couple funny Republicans because they're all going to fucking jail. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, that's Police are going to start being funny because there's a war on police these days. I don't there's know a war on police. You know? yeah. Yeah. Uh, fuck, but... Yeah, um, that is that is nice, man. And the having a child that must be, you you truly became a family man over the pandemic in a re, in a real way. Yeah, you went in just like a you know you had a good relationship, and then it's like yeah, just fuck a, it, let's get married. Almost broke up with my uh, yeah with my fiance, and then uh, nutted inside of her a few <laughs> times, just like just to show how much I love her, you know. <laughs> and here you and then, are, and man. then here I am. Yeah, fuck, you got some Fisher Price. Yeah, you know what I mean. Now you're playing with toys. Yeah, it really does. It's cool. It, it it must it must is there part of where you're like, damn, I guess this is just. I feel like it must be nice because it's like, well, you saying getting to rewatch Disney movies. It's well, fun. yeah, you get to do kid shit, yeah. and you get to watch the world through this kid's eyes. Yeah. But also, is there a part of it that's nice because you're like, my real only job is this kid survives and it isn't molested. You yeah. know what I mean? Like those yeah. those are your two jobs. Yeah, and everything else is like. Kinda, Which are both full time jobs. Yeah, if you think yeah. about it, you know? <laughs> Every single person that he that comes under his care. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. My we parents. know he likes to grab a cock. Yeah, he already he's already halfway yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. You know? Well, my parents will like drive up from Jersey to babysit. It's like an hour and change, mm-hmm. whatever drive, and like a couple times I would leave them and he would cry, mm. and I'm like, they're molesting him. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, he's, he's driving by some cameras maybe, and everything. Oh yeah, or and, maybe you your, your brother's just snatching applesauce out of his little spoon. Uh, maybe he's yeah. just like, <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> did, did did it did it did your parents like immediately? Because it seems like you have like you know obviously there's a lot of resentment there. Also, just from knowing you, it's like. Uh, some of the ideas we were just talking about, the war on cops and marriage uh-huh, uh-huh. that, you know, you guys differ from like politically in many sure. ways. Yeah. But was it, is, has it been nice in terms of like, it's been once nice, you have a yeah. kid. Yeah. I no, feel you like need your parents shit. so badly to, yeah. you know, take care of your kid. And yeah. And um, my wife's mom is not around, you mm-hmm. know, and her dad's kind of a retard. So. <laughs> <laughs> he's like 75 years old and like doesn't get how to be a, a parent or grandparent yeah, yeah, really yeah, 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 yeah. uh we're like we're driving down i'm like yeah i got a show in in baltimore on friday so um you know we'll come visit and he's like oh, okay are you gonna come down thursday or friday i'm like we have jobs you fucking more what do you think we do is he down there is he close he's to in baltimore? delaware yeah oh, okay yeah gotcha. so yeah. it's on the way yeah were you in Baltimore? are you go- you're, are you already yeah wearing? some some bar show. Do you want to plug headlining. your shit? We're, we're it's a Delia Foley's. Yeah, Delia Foley's. Yeah, so I'm doing that on February third. If you want to come out, that's a good. But, that's uh, a fun place. Is it? It's a nice little upstairs. They have okay. a nice separate area for a show. It's a good. It's a good. They used to do shows there all the time, and then it, it's so funny how like in a scene shit is cyclical. Yeah, like Baltimore comedy used to be really good, and uh-huh. then like people forgot about things, uh-huh. and it's like ten years later. Yeah. It's like they uncover this like venue. It's like we yeah, should yeah. do comedy shows. Here. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, Dilly I know Boston, Boston was kind of shitty for a while, and then Boston got good. Boston's back, yeah. But Boston sure. used to be like you know just angry, <clears throat> just angry guys. Yeah, they had their golden age. Yeah, and then it was just like guys pretending to be Bill Burr. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean. Yeah. And now it's kind of it's kind of nice now. But yeah. um, oh, I should have said in the opening. Yeah, we're a little rusty here, folks. Too me and Ellis, mm. we took a pretty long break. Um, I'll just went to fucking Cancun. I had to well, fucking the, work. It's one of the hardest things to do is podcast every single, yeah, yeah, every single yeah, week. Yeah, yeah. You know? It's difficult, Because I can't imagine a harder job. There's no harder job. Yeah. So you have to constantly think of think up things like stuff you know, to say and yeah. talk about your son grabbing your penis. Right, right, right. And I've said that like six times this one, six different podcasts. Every podcast I've done, I'm like, yeah, my son grabs my penis. 
<laughs> you gotta play. Here we go. Baby. Yeah, yeah. So I heard your son uh, clears your penis. So, Michael, I understand your son's little nail gets in your urethra sometimes. Your son's sharp little two-year-old nail. Mark Man, what's that about? Your son's grabbing your penis? Um, well, we should have said up top, we're a little rusty. We're coming off a long lay layoff. And by the way, thanks to everybody who's been listening to the podcast. It's fucking awesome. We, we, we're getting a, a nice a nice reception. We love you. Everybody on the Patreon, thank you. Uh, that's humming. We got a, a bonus episode every week. So go check that out if you want to. I should have said call. What's the number? I already forget. Nine zero four eight hundred Stav. I sh I didn't do the intro. We were just chatting. Mm -hmm. I'm with my fucking boy Mikey. Mm -hmm. We you know old pals here. We we, we sometimes if somebody gets in the studio and the podcasting it flows like wine. Uh -huh. You know. Uh -huh. um, but I should have said nine zero four eight hundred Stav. Leave us your. We're here to answer your questions. Help out your life. We have an Italian father here who's a little bit. Probably has just a little piece of autism. I have a yeah, theory. Maybe. I have yeah, a theory I that anyone who's fan, has a sibling, uh -huh. and this is with this autism has like a little sprinkling of it. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Like that's my that's Could my be. how I was making fun of you for Italian philosophy. That's yeah. Greek science. Uh -huh. It's like oh, there's a little bit of autism inside his mom's pussy that rubbed off. <laughs> yeah, I've heard you that know? a lot. I don't know what do I do. Like I'm 35 <laughs> years old. Do I like go get tested for no, autism no, and over, then yeah. what? You know, you're who you are. Because Mike, my friend Mike Lawrence, recently found out that he had autism, which. Was that a surprise to <laughs> yeah, literally yeah, anyone? No, no, no. <laughs> anyone no. that has met Mike? No. <laughs> but now he's like he's like leaning into being mm, autistic more. Smart. Like he'll be like, oh, yeah, my shoes don't match. He like put on like non-matching shoes. Yeah, and yeah, that yeah. was like funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, it's like you're not. No, you're, you're, you're not, not that, that autistic. level. Yeah, yeah. Um, you wore matching shoes your whole life. Yeah. <laughs> and now all of a sudden. He's like a he's like a newly out gay guy yeah, who's yeah, like, hey yeah. girls. Oh yeah, <laughs> you know? absolutely. They do go They're a little like, overboard. They it's went like, a little all right, overboard. take a couple this years. This isn't really who you are. Go suck yeah. some cock in a bar bathroom <laughs> to prove it, uh, yeah. and then go you know wear sequins, yeah, and then go yeah, back yeah. to cardigans in four years. Yeah, yeah. Um, go listen to Britney Spears. Buy a Miata. Yeah, and yeah. Listen to Britney <laughs> Spears. Yeah, or whatever. yeah. 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 But and it would, and then go back to your job at the bank. Yeah. That would be funny. We should get you tested for autism. You should I, do that yeah, on your own podcast. I guess podcast. I would do it. I don't know. It's just like I'm. Yeah. What is the test though? I don't know. They yeah. Got, whatever Mike did. Yeah. I guess Mike's was like a doctor just looked at him. But see, the problem is then I have to go back to everybody and be like, "You're right. You were right. <laughs> Andy Haynes, you were right." <laughs> when we did that moving job and and I farted in the lady's house. <laughs> And you said, what the fuck is wrong with you? Do you have autism or something? <laughs> Apparently I do, Andy. Like, I've fought it. I've fought it so hard. I'm just saying it you would know? be good content. I wish I, uh, yeah, but I hope the test comes back negative. But, dude, you could build it up. It could be this yeah. whole arc of does Mike have autism, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. What's your podcast called? The new podcast? Alpha Smokes. Alpha Smokes. Yeah. We'll listen to that. I, I'll, I'll come do it sometime thanks, soon, thanks, dude. Thanks, thanks, I'm saying it's a, that would be a nice arc for out for smoke uh -huh. where it Finding starts out if, um, it starts yeah. with the first episode you have a couple people on yeah. from your life yeah. that lay out the case uh -huh. of you being on have andy on have yeah. whoever on yeah, right yeah. then some anticipate then you and the guys discuss it a little bit uh -huh. then the next day is all right i'm gonna go take the test what's the test mm -hmm. build up some anticipation and then finally a third episode it's a three episode arc yeah we were you reveal Live on the air, right? Whether you right, have right, autism right, right. or not, yeah, okay. And then there's a fourth episode where it's like, you know, now you're wearing ma mismatched shoes. But then, right, right, right. You but know? then, what do you do with that info once you find out that you are? Dude, I don't know. Can you get on disability or you something? Probably can figure something out. Yeah, yeah. Because my mom gets like twenty one thousand dollars a year from the state for my brother. <laughs> Your brother? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Which you, I think is more than she's allowed to. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, she's you like, it out. yeah. My parents came to visit the other day because I live in Red Hook now, mm -hmm. and I and I'm I'm like, all right, so here's where you can park. And my mom goes, you know, a thousand migrants are moving to Red Hook, <laughs> single males. <laughs> Single males. <laughs> Single that's, males that's, in their 20s. Yeah, that's yeah. an awesome thing to throw in there. Yeah. It's not bad enough they're migrants. They're the raping type. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're not married. <laughs> uh, that's fucking hilarious. Anyway, yeah. that's a thought I would say, you know. Okay. Uh, just what do you do with it? Who knows? Get on disability. Yeah. Now you become the face of neurodivergent comedy. Right. You know? Right. You know, you, you start getting some career opportunities. Yeah. Because most, because a lot of comedy is just people being autistic. It's true, you know. Is taking so, is is 
a completely Tim Robinson, over. right? The, the I think you should leave guy. That's autism. that's probably just autism. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. It's you different. Gotta... It's completely a steamrolling through social cues. Mm-hmm. And, okay, and and looking and being like, why are we looking at things this way when yeah. it actually is this way? And it's yeah, like, yeah. no, it's not. That's yeah. crazy, but. Yeah. It's funny. Yeah. You're right. Most I know. Because I think is. my whole life I was like, ah, am I like a little weird? Am I kind of like awkward or whatever? But yeah, yeah I just got to just lean into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, always yeah. think I'm like this Italian James Bond Suave. type. But I'm re- yeah, I'm, yeah, 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 I'm not. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. That's like me. We were talking. We just, well, I just watched the Miami Vice with Colin Farrell. Yeah. And he has like long hair and a fucking mustache. Mm-hmm. And I was like. I literally think I look like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just pull up the picture. We'll put it on the, we'll put it on the. But that's um, good. Yeah. You're actually, you're true detective Colin Farrell. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen, seen that one oh, either. Oh, <laughs> pull them up. Pull both up. <laughs> Colin Farrell, Miami Well, Vice. he's not, he's not fat in that, but there's a scene where, uh, he goes to, he goes to school to pick up his kid mm-hmm. and he's like, where are your shoes? And he's like, I, I don't know. He's like, he's like, where are those fucking shoes I bought you? And like this kid <laughs> took his shoes. He's like, who took your shoes? He's like, tell me who took your shoes, you fat pussy. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it right there. That's no, how I yeah. think I look. <laughs> yeah, but that's kind of how it's not in the there, right light. There in the is, right there light, is. you know. <laughs> this you gotta think. You gotta think that you're handsome. <laughs> if you don't think you're handsome, who will? Exactly. My grandmother's dead, yeah, so yeah, nobody's yeah, yeah. around to tell me I'm and handsome. And for you, if if you don't think you're not autistic, who will? Right. You right. know. Right. Um, I have to just deny being autistic. <laughs> yeah. Oh uh, yeah, that's closer. That's you know what? I'll take that one too. That way, yeah, he, yeah, yeah. So he goes to the. Uh, He's like, he's like, what's this kid's name? He's like, his name is Aspen something. No, but you know what's funny? That's how I think I'll look in ten years. I in my head, I'm younger than that guy. Know, this is like he a looks ton of so Botox much better and, than me. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, anyway, folks, <laughs> look, we got, we got, fucking, we got Mike. He's a new father. He's Italian. He's possibly one, one eighth autistic. We don't know yet. Autistic. But the ne- <laughs> one sixteenth. Who knows? Yeah. A little sprinkling. Thirty second even. Uh, but the important thing is he's got a perspective. You got a perspective for these fucking idiots here, Mike. You, mm-hmm. You're you you've lived a life these motherfuckers haven't even dreamed of. You you've got life experiences, and it's time that together we solve some problems. What do you say? You ready to take some calls? Absolutely. Let's fucking get some calls going. We've missed you, everyone, and if for everybody else, like we said, nine zero four eight hundred Stav. Call in. Um, and even though you we haven't taken a break, you it's been episodes the whole time. This is me and Eldis's first episode back. Uh, for a couple months, actually. So we're a little rusty, but Since we're ready. Since December 20th. Since December 20th. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I went home. I went to Baltimore. I did a little yeah. exercise with my brother. I had to kind of detox. It was nice. And then I got that strange, that the weirdest gig of my life, Paris Fashion Week. Okay. Uh, which was insane. We went to Paris for the weekend to do a show that was also a fashion show. But mm-hmm. it's like, I spent... Were they nice? They were nice They were to great. You, right? It was yeah. so cool. Okay. But I, I spent, hope you weren't there to like, you know, for them to... No, but it was Last Balenciaga. Oh. No, no. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they had a bunch of kids in <laughs> yeah. a... No. Uh-huh. No, yeah. I like... You're like, were they nice to you? It's like, you yeah. dress up like a big baby. Yeah, and then the they... gig was... They, yeah, a bunch of hot models circled around me and laughed. Yeah. I was naked. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. and they're like, he's fat. His penis is small. Um, no, it was really fun. But I spent like a month working out with my brother eating healthy. And mm. then you go to Paris and it's like, I guess I'll have baguettes and fucking... Croissants and butter. Yeah, but and I cheese. don't really. You don't really gain weight when you go to Europe. It's weird. I like Listen, I, brother. You did. I mean, it was just like wildly. Yeah. Unhealthy. And we were I just, went to Italy with my family, and I was like, I'm gonna gain so much weight, and then, but you walk a lot, and the food is well, like it's not the middle, poison. You usually go in the summer. Yeah. Right. You're usually swimming, walking. Yeah. yeah. We're in the winter. Okay. We're jet so lagged. Just eat, yeah. We're getting. We're getting fucked. We're getting drunk. We're yeah. eating. We're not doing anything. Was that your first time in Paris? Second time in Paris. It was nice. It was nice. It was yeah. really nice. Yeah. We're going to do a full... Go. Next week, folks, we'll do a full recap episode. We'll have Matteo Lane on here, who uh, was... He was also in the fashion show. And it was a good crew. Good crew. So we'll get the whole... All the whole you'll get the whole scoop on Paris next week, folks. We wanted to have somebody that was there with us. But anyway, let's get to some fucking problems. What do you say, L Dunce? Let's do it. Hey, stuff. It ain't playing, Chief. Start it over. You dumb bitch. Hey, stuff. I also consider myself a fat rascal. Big fan of the fat rascal. Thank you, brother. Uh, so I recently found out that uh, my uh, my new fiance may be infertile. <laughs> and I want to know if you think 
that it's selfish of me that I'm going to get my nuts checked, see what my semen count is, and uh, so I can maybe use it later for ammo so I can point the finger at her and then uh, maybe leave. Because what the fuck? Because more important to me than uh, starting a family and, and, and making more little fat rascals, you know? I mean, oh. what you think? What does he want to do? He wants to say your pussy doesn't work and my (laughs) dick is fine. Yeah, yeah. In like an argument. So yes, one hundred percent. You loaded the dishwasher wrong. Yeah, it's like yeah. yeah, Well, your pussy's a fucking (laughs) desert, you bitch. (laughs) Mine not swimming. (laughs) How about you fucking do the dishes? Forty million sperm. I have this adopted Korean. (laughs) This isn't my fucking son. I don't know why I agreed to this. You ruined my fucking life with your rotten pussy. Um, <laughs> just tattooed the number 40 million yeah, tattooed yeah. on his arm um yeah you are a piece of shit so clearly yeah i don't even i mean what the fuck is this yeah do i think it's selfish of you to go get your nuts checked so that you can use it later as ammo and leave because there's nothing more important than starting a family i bet his sperm count's not even that high yeah 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 you there's know? no way you got it's probably good average yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, so recently found out that my fiance may be infertile. That's, let me say, this mountain I mean, drinking she, motherfucker. Can I say yeah. this? She should leave you. <laughs> <laughs> You're willing to cut and run. This is actually, actually wild. Truly. Mm-hmm. This exact thing happened to my fucking parents. What? My mom had, uh, like issues Yeah. and she was like, and, but my mom was like, Hey, if you want to leave all good, but they had in vitro mm-hmm. took them a while. Mm-hmm. So what about your brothers? Bo in vitro. Yeah. Yeah. So actually, you know, me and my dad don't have a great relationship, but I will say he stuck around and without mm-hmm. him being a better person than this guy. And yeah, my dad's yeah. not even a good guy. Yeah, yeah. And he right. was he's a better guy than you. Right. At least he didn't get his sperm counted. Yeah, to, yeah. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. You can start Yeah, first of all, go get your fucking sperm counted cuz I would love if you're Yeah, fucking, let's see what you're Yeah, if you're yeah, yeah. fucking. And let's call see what back. You're packing, yeah. I want to know if your jizz is good or not. Okay? So call back 904800 stop. But yeah, I'm fat, but I'm shooting about probably 100 million sperm <laughs> yeah, per yeah, ejaculation. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, so you are a bad, for sure, this is shitty of you to think because you say there's nothing more important to you than starting a family. Do you love this woman? It's your fiance, right? Theoretically, you love her. Well, uh, you could get in vitro, right? Like, we don't, you said, and he, he also says, may be infertile mm. he doesn't even fucking know <laughs> mm-hmm. and he's ready to cut and run but here's why you know he's really a piece of shit mm-hmm. because he's like well if my dick doesn't work if we're both equal then i won't make a big stink i'll stay with her and we'll both because we're both <laughs> yeah. we're both fucking pieces of shit <laughs> but if he's better than her he's like well i'm gonna cut and run because i'm better uh you're a very selfish <laughs> shitty person who doesn't love this woman <laughs> is what it sounds like to me yeah. but if well, you want to start a family then it's like yes uh, and you love this person, a family is loving people and supporting them <laughs> unconditionally. Right. You clearly don't want to do that because you can... I mean, maybe he's just trying to be funny, but that should also show you that being funny is the hardest job yeah. in, the, in the entire <laughs> world. Probably, you know? He probably is a little bit. Yeah. But but I am being... This is, but in, ba- imagine being this woman yeah. and you're, you get these results, you start crying, uh-huh. and your fiance is like... <sighs> She's like, what's that piece of paper in your hand? Oh, uh, nothing. I'm not I'm not workshopping voicemails to send a fat comedian. Like, imagine being this woman. Is, he's trying to do bits. It's like her life might be ruined, and he's considering yeah. leaving her. Yeah. If you're doing a bit. There's no way that you have a high sperm count or your dick works. <laughs> okay, but in a, it, to truly, we, we shit on, we fully shit on you. You're a piece of shit, et cetera. Yeah. But if you actually like her, if you actually love this woman, mm-hmm. And, you want, and there's nothing more important to you than starting a family. There's in vitro. But also, there is literally adoption. Mm-hmm. I know we made the joke, you know, the joke earlier started with me being like, how dare, I can't, but it's like, you should, that's a fully real, op, <laughs> like, way to start a family. And by the mm-hmm. way, we probably should be adopting more kids. Yeah. There's a ton of fucking kids, man. And, you know, and that might be a blessing if one of, or both of you, by the way, because we don't know what your jizz is like, can't have kids, then... Give a kid or two a fucking family that might be fucked otherwise. You would be, that's even nicer. Yeah. I've thought about this. If I have kids, I do think I want to go one and one. I think I want to oh, like cancel yeah, yeah, it yeah. out. You know what I mean? No, like, that's great. I would I would love to do yeah. that. I, and you adopt a, a black one. <laughs> and you just see how they perform. 
<laughs> and you do a real nature versus like, nurture God type damn. study. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah you're yeah. just pissed off because yeah. he's not good at sports yeah. or dancing. You're Your like, black brother puts his dishes in the sink. <laughs> He cleans, he cleans his room, and he's adopted, and he's black. <laughs> the fuck's the matter with you? Uh, Mike Racine, the most progressive Italian. <laughs> yeah, this is like how your dad would hit the retarded son. You're yeah, like, yeah, hey, yeah. measure up to your black brother. <laughs> um, so anyway, that's our advice here, buddy. Yeah. It's get Call back and let us know what your jizz is like, but if you're yeah, a, good, like if know, you're a yeah. good person who's not doing a bit, or, or if you're not, or if there's even some truth about you being like, should I leave her? Then, you know, you guys shouldn't what be is, together. What is a high sperm count? It's like tens know. of millions. I don't know. Because there's a King of the Hill episode, right? Where Hank yes, gets like Yes, he's got the narrow eight, urethra, of yeah, course, yeah. and a low sperm count. But they're like, your sperm count's eight. Be uh, Peggy's like, high number, high number. They're like, eight million. Yeah. But that's a low number. 15 million. 70 sperm mobility good. Normal sperm density range from 15 mil to 200 mil. Per milliliter of semen. Wow. That's that, a wide isn't range. Isn't that crazy? That is a very wide Everyone range. makes a different kid. Yeah. 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 That's, that is fucking insane. Yeah. That's another, that's what we should do for the podcast. I'll just see who's got the higher sperm count. I'd love to. <laughs> yeah. And like, it's, it's crazy. Like, of all the. Scary. <laughs> <laughs> Of all the sperms that I've ever, like, I made, like, a blonde kid that looks nothing like me. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's true. You did get, you got one of the better sperms. I know yeah. there's some horrific, horrific kids sperm. in that nutsack. <laughs> there's some fucking Just morons. Just some piece yeah, of shit, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, all right. Hit us with another one, LD. Let's see who we got up next. Hey, Stav. Uh, hope you're doing well. Hope been a good one. It's been a good one with the guests so far. Hope the guests hi doing well too, and Elvis. So, Thanks, um, I'm kind of in a situation where I'm thinking about moving. Okay. Because mm -hmm. I kind of last truck year, boys like, moving at gmail dot com. Truck boys moving at gmail dot com, my friend. If you if you go That's through with it. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Uh, so, a comic I know owns a little moving company. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hit us for um, this. I'm kind of in a situation where I'm thinking about moving. Because okay. I kind of, last year, like, hooked up with this chick at an anime convention over the weekend. Like, we hung out this whole weekend, too. Really fun. Like, it was great to be around her. And, like, later that year, like, late September, I flew out to California. Like, spent a week there. Oh, wow. And it was, it was pretty nice. Just outside of, like, he who doing the fuck. It, like she genuinely really like appreciates what I do. Like like I cook and stuff. She's appreciative about that. That's cute. Mm -hmm. And even like was like, hey, no, you need a face routine. Like use a separate towel for it. And like well, that kind of caring guy. stuff too, which is. like really genuinely felt great. But I've got so much over in Chicago that I've already built up. Like got my job here. My other friends are out here. Family it's is a around hot dog place here. I really like. <laughs> I, I don't know why you can't get a good hot dog to. anywhere. <laughs> Chuck it and fuck it and go out there because I'm like 25. They got a lot ahead of me. What do you What do you think? Is that, like, you stop right there. You don't have a lot ahead of you. <laughs> you definitely that. No one really has a lot ahead of them. Like, <laughs> yeah, you, life doesn't really change that much. <laughs> you know? Like, hey, oh, you should okay. come out. This is a good deal, though. Like, I recently just posted, like, hey, I did some meal prep. And she went, hey, you should come be my house husband for a few years. And I'm like, ooh, tempting. So, uh, yeah. This just is appreciate the thoughts on that. Thank okay. you. Okay. Mm. Interesting. So, a few years. So, I just posted, hey, I just did some meal prep. And she posted, you should be my house husband. So, mm. this man is considering moving because a girl he fucked, if, I, if I'm reading this correctly, two to three times was like, hey, come over. Possibly joking. I'm um, no, I'm not I'm not clear, super clear on the timeline, but I think they met at a anime convention. Where does she live? She lives in California. He lives mm -hmm. in Chicago. They mm -hmm. met at an anime co convention. He went out there like yeah, he at visited least, her. at least once. He visited and they she, they fucked the anime convention. He went to visit. They fucked. They hung out. They fucked. You know, they spent time together a little bit. But so, it sounds like yeah, they haven't. Not too much IRL. So, by the way, 
this guy's fucked maybe this woman and maybe one other woman, do you think? Like, how I get, <laughs> this guy got pussy at an anime convention. <laughs> when, when like, go, I'm in love. Going to visit but, is fine. We, yeah. You know, if somebody has good pussy, you like her, sure. go out for a little vacation, yeah, it's use fun. Use your points. But the th- yeah, use some points, exactly. <laughs> Fucking, but now, you think about moving, and from that last, I would have assumed they're dating long distance. She just, like, I... Is that real? Do you, buddy, do not move out there. Oh, I wonder if there. that's real, yeah. You should she, ask her if it's real first. She might just sure. want you to dick her down, but mm-hmm. also these might be two nerds that don't yeah. know how to how yeah. to like phrase their feelings. Yeah. Um their romantic feelings. They they that you both might be kind of shy. Yeah. And sh- and you should be talking more. You should be like, you know, you should at least at least be dating long distance sure. before you even consider moving for this person. Now, at the other, Does she have a good job or something? It sounds like. I mean, that's not a bad. I mean, that's not a bad deal to like go to a new place and kind of sure. get set up for a little bit. Yeah, I yeah, don't know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Here, w- one little detail here before the house husband thing. He says, uh, 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 "Is that like should I go for it?" She's definitely handed that like, "Hey, you should come out here." She's definitely so, yeah. hinted that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You got to do these things when you're young. You that, know, I mean, that's, like, yes, you exactly. might not think you're young, but 25 is like you're it's, young. It's you're young. You're young for sure. And Chicago will always be there. It's you know? No, it's true. Chicago, it's, those are your roots. Your friends probably aren't going where to. Chicago's a really nice place to be from because yeah. it's both a big city and can be your home. I'm kind of jealous. Yeah, you know what I mean? Oh, for sure, yeah. It's nicer to be from Chicago than from Baltimore. Like, yeah. like I know successful people yeah. that just stay in Chicago because it's a big enough city that they don't feel... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. Like I, never, I never left the East Coast because I was always like, ah, oh, my family's here, my yeah. grandparents. My grandparents are still alive. They're 96, <laughs> 97. <laughs> They're still fucking like <laughs> racist and shitty, <laughs> you know. My grandfather's yeah. slowly dying. My yeah. grandmother's still a bitch. Like I could have, <laughs> I could have done all this stuff. I could have gone to L. A. for you like you know a year or so year in twenty twelve or something. Just yeah. go, just some live somewhere different, you exactly. know. Exactly. Have a different experience and just see how you do and see how far you can get. And Chicago's yeah. always going to be there. Yeah. So I would say even if you know what's probably going to happen is you're going to get humiliated and she's going <laughs> to she's going to go. Oh, I was joking. You're going to show up with a U haul yeah. and she's going to go. Yeah, she's oh, I was like, fucking wait, you're with you. Really coming over? Some guy oh, with okay. some guy in a Yu-Gi-Oh costume is gonna come to the door. You're <laughs> yeah. gonna knock. You're gonna be like, "It's yeah. me." Yeah. Some guy dressed like but fucking good Trunks story. from DBZ shows up with purple yeah. hair. But even if you get your heart broken, that's still a good story. I, I agree. I think. Listen, at the very least, you should go out there. You should visit again. You should get some pussy one, at one more time for old time's sake. Yeah. And you should really talk about this. Yeah. But I agree with you, Mike. You're young. Chicago will be there. Have yeah. some new experiences. But but I would say at least go visit one more time. Hang out. Go visit Get one more some time, pussy yeah. one more time. And be like, hey, mm-hmm. I'm really thinking about this. Have an actual relationship going. And fucking try it out. Yeah. You know? It's not hard to relocate. But And also, if, if you're going to do this, actually figure out like the, your life stuff. You say you have a job in Chicago. Is it the kind of job that you can transfer is there similar industry there yeah you probably shouldn't live with her to begin with no 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 yeah you should have your own place yeah um, but at the same time i could i feel like anime nerds falling in love and getting married is mm-hmm. pretty is a pretty standard thing so you go visit see feel out the vibes maybe this guy's gonna be married within a month yeah. you know what i mean yeah that's what i was gonna say i feel like with like you know they're probably both like just a little weird. <laughs> Not, nothing, <laughs> nothing judgmental against anime people, yeah, but I can yeah, see yeah. that thing where like you know, I feel like sometimes you hear about people like that like moving really fast, and I could totally see them like you know this guy's there in a week and they just don't miss a beat. For sure, they're, 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 it's just like such a clear works out thing like from the beginning. There's two ways this could go. That right, two kind of weird people that both don't fuck that much fall in love they're both kind of being a little shy Mm -hmm. because he's talking about she's hinted and i've said this like even though they've already fucked they're both like too nervous to really say their feelings yeah and they have this cute little whirlwind romance he moves in they have a beautiful life or she sucks anyone off at comic-con yeah you were one of the guys she sucked off yeah you're gonna get there she'll be happy to see you the first time and then you fuck and you're like so where should i put my clothes and she's like your clothes yeah 
She's like, she's talking Where'd with her friend. Go? She's like, oh my god, I got another guy to move out here. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. She's like, you know? yeah, they have a contest. Yeah, yeah. They're like, yeah. how many nerds how many can nerds we get to move, to, move to, to, <laughs> to leave their family? <laughs> yeah, those are your two options. But you know yeah. what? I say roll the fucking dice. Roll the dice. You're a young man. Yeah, you're not clearly you're not, not getting gonna, pussy in Chicago, or this wouldn't even be a question. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here's another thing. Like he just sounds like pretty soft spoken, and I could see this being a dynamic where, like, you know, mm. he's just a normal dude, soft spoken, and she's just like more aggressive, more dominant, and also like sleeper hot in that anime girl Absolutely. way. Like, you know, just just pretty face, big old titties, and that Sailor Moon yeah. costume yeah, popping yeah, out, yeah, 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 oval shaped yeah. eyes. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, 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 if, yeah. If that's the case, you know, you, yeah. all the more, yeah, fuck it. Do you it. might, yeah, you might be, you might be uh, taking doing Japanese Duolingo with your wife, <laughs> with your yeah. wife in California soon. Yeah, um, yeah. Let us know how it goes, buddy. We're, yeah, and even being your heart you. broken, that's like a good story. It's a good story, and it's de- it's character development. We've yeah. all had our hearts broken here on this podcast, and, and no we're one all over better 20- men for it. Exactly. And no one over 25 should have grandparents anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Hit us with another one, Eld. Big Eld. Hey, what up, Stavi? Um, yeah, so let's get started. Uh, my name's AJ, and I was a young dude, chilling, and... Uh, I've always felt weird about my dad. Uh, he was in the military in like the late eighties, nineties. And you know, it's like cold American war He's in Beauty. Germany. So I was just like, you know, he didn't do shit, no combat. It's not really how I ever saw it. Um, and then a few years ago, he told me that he killed somebody like while he's in the army. And I thought, Oh fuck, like, you know, war story. And then, uh, you know, he kind of oh. broke down a bit more after that crying, completely shit faced, uh, that's enough, but probably because of this, the, Turns out it wasn't like combat. My dad's got like really fucked up in Germany and like choked some dude out and then he died. Like he killed a guy basically. What the fuck? Okay. But because he was like, uh, he's in the military and, and you know, he was like, kind and of you're calling to be, into like, a podcast. And around and- <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why are you just. This is crazy. Uh, yeah, yeah. Run it back a, a couple a couple seconds. I want to hear this <laughs> whole thing. Then, but because he was like, yeah, he's in the military, and, and you know, he was like, kind of just able to get, like, discharged and moved around, and, and nothing really ever happened. Um, but there's a part of me that wonders if, like, if I'm cursed, and how should I talk to my dad about the feelings that this gives me? Don't I feel like Germany. whenever I bring it up to him, yeah. I'm afraid to even mention it. Like, he, he told me my mom knew about it. Holy and fuck. then when I asked my mom about it, she was just like... What are you talking about? Uh, what, what the fuck are you saying? And it just seemed like she was either completely in denial or somebody's lying. And it, it's just weird, and it feels like I'm cursed. It feels like in my life yeah. there have been things that happened because of this, and I'm afraid to even well. tell the story uh, because some German dude, you know, his uncle or something, might have got choked out by some American soldier. So I don't know what I could do moving forward. Oh, man. therapy. Yeah. I don't know. I, I got you, brother. Here, here. Mm. Well, first of all, it doesn't sound like you're ever. At a certain point, you got to be like, "Am I really ever going to have a relationship with my father?" Right. And it, it, right now, it sounds like the answer is no. Uh huh. Sounds he the fact that he told you shit faced isn't that what he said that he was shit faced and crying. This guy is was I don't even know why he would fucking tell you. Yeah. He's putting this it's on you. It's selfish of him. It yeah. Is, to, it's yeah. literally selfish of him. His your mom clearly doesn't. I mean, the emo- the emotions of this family don't feel like a thing to get talked about. Instead of thinking about the, you, the feel, discussing feelings with your dad, I mean, this is a, you think this guy is gonna? You think that's gonna work? Let's be honest. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, uh, my dad's just kind of rude, and <laughs> my dad's just kind or of you know like what angry, happened. and he's hard to talk to. Maybe the guy his dad choked out was a Nazi, and his dad was delivering karma for that guy. <laughs> that's true. Maybe that guy's dad killed some Jews, and yeah. it's all. Maybe your dad's uh, uh, the uh, the acting as the fist of karma. Yeah. But I think instead of thinking about this, I think it seems like your dad was a bad dad. Hmm. And instead of looking at like your feelings here, I think you're given a beautiful opportunity because if I were you, I would put on some white face paint. I would, when your dad's sleeping, I would go to his window and be like, (laughs) you will not get away with this. (laughs) It is coming. It is coming. Your comeuppance is coming. Look over your shoulders. (laughs) 
and I would haunt my father yeah. for clearly being a bad guy. Bad guy. <laughs> He's a murderer. Right. Yeah, and the you US... have to step up and be the karma for your, yeah. your dad. <laughs> and the U.S. Army covered for him. Yeah. So, I mean, look, it's nice of you to be thinking this stuff, and this is the beginning of therapy. I mean, are you in therapy? I mean, I went into therapy being like, hey, how do I, you know, how do I fix every problem I have with my father? At a certain point, you got to realize there's only so much you can do. Sure. There's only so much you can do fully desiring to, let alone thinking about the other person who's not even meeting you a quarter of the way, let alone halfway, right? Hmm. So you got to be realistic about what, what this is going to be like. You should go to therapy and talk about this for yourself, but I don't know that you're ever getting closure and figuring it out with your dad. Your dad sounds like a fucking mess. He literally killed the guy, and he's probably dealing with the guilt of that. Let alone all the other fucked up. Who knows what other fucked up shit that gets? Uh, yeah, that's like you know on that he the didn't bench. Talk about, yeah, yeah. What other abuse and shit he's done? What other fucked up shit he's done? So yeah. don't feel cursed. Here's the one it thing: I'll like say. your mom's complacent in it. Exactly. Too. Yeah, and, and maybe she's you know swept up in it. You know, for years, it, parent that can be a weird relationship, especially how long ago they got together, what society was like, what their families were like. The thing you can really work on out of all this call that's the most alarming to me is feeling, you mentioned feeling like you're cursed. You're not cursed. That's not yeah. how the way this shit works, yeah, right? Yeah. There's The sins of the father is bullshit stuff. It's like, whatever. You're not, bad stuff is not happening to you because some guy took your dad's schnitzel and he fucking, <laughs> and he suffocated him over yeah, right, right, it. Right, okay? Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. not what's going on here. You just, so work on that part. Work on because clearly, yeah, yeah, this yeah. is a really. If I'm gonna put my pop psychology hat on here, I as somebody who's dealt with a lot of guilt issues with my family, guilt seems like something that happens a lot in your family. And you and this huge, this huge thing your dad just told you feels like a lightning rod for all your guilt about your family. It's just really like almost poetic symbol for everything your father has saddled you with. And you're feeling, and that's what it seems like to me you're feeling. I might be wrong. Go to therapy. Go to a real fucking doctor about it. But that's what you have to get over, feeling this guilt. And the fact that your dad did a really fucked up thing compounds the guilt you feel. But you had nothing to do with it. You don't have shit to do with it with all the fucked up shit your dad's done. Try not to do fucked up shit yourself. Go to a therapist. See how re realistic it is for you to repair your relationship. And also be realistic about how far you can even repair that. And when you have a little emotional space, think about, is this something I even want to repair? You know, some people, there's some, I'm not, I don't know the whole story with your dad. I mean, this could just be a one time accident thing and he might be a lovely guy. My guess is that's not what it is. <laughs> but some people have really atrocious fucking parents and they just realize they're better off never speaking to them again. Is that you? I can't tell you that. Uh, you know, you and a therapist and some thought have to tell you that. But that's at least have that possibility on the table. Um, and good luck. And really work on your German accent whenever your dad pisses you off. <laughs> Throw a little flower on your face. <laughs> that's <laughs> not funny. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> do you do you guys think this is like pure manipulative dad move, like trying to saddle him, or do you think it's like an attempt to connect and? Not 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 like pure ego, like get it off his chest. It's ego. No, it seems, it's it ego. seems pretty selfish. If, if yeah. I had to guess, that's it's not even connecting. It's unloading and being like, oh, I feel better that I'm not hiding that from you. Yeah. But it's yeah, like, yeah. well, just hide it just from hide me. It. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. need to fucking live with this. Yeah. I mean, that's what you want to talk about our fucking dads. It's like that's the kind of shit you know my dad would do. Where it's like, you know, he would he would just fucking. He would do something insane, like break a fucking coffee table, yell, you mm -hmm. know, do abusive shit. And then he'd come back crying and want a hug. Yeah. And it's like, no, you're no. the thing yeah, we're yeah, sad yeah. about. Yeah, yeah. You can't be the thing we're all rallying around. Like, you're, sa you're yeah. sad because of the shit you did. Yeah. And that's what this motherfucker did. Even worse, though, because, like, his son wasn't involved at all. No. So that's my guess. Just, you know, obviously I'm reading into it with my own you know, my yeah. own, um, make a TikTok about it. Maybe you can find the German guy's family. True. Cause in that's Germany, true. somebody's like my, my father was just choked was one just night. By it. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah, disappeared. Yeah yeah, yeah. 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 The last place he was seen was a bar, uh, a quarter mile from the American, uh, base yeah. in Dusseldorf. Yeah. And we don't, we still don't know what happened yeah, and it's classified schnitzel. now. He was selling schnitzel yeah. to support our family. <laughs> Some animal choked him out. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck. All right. Let's get another one going there, Big Eld. <laughs> Davi, how's it going? Uh, I'm a 31-year-old guy from San Diego. Big fan of your podcast. I'm listening for a while. Um, anyways, I got a little... I got I got a question for you. Um, my girlfriend is 26. We've been together for almost a year. She is... She, she, she's just the best, man. Uh, she, she, she's beautiful. She's fun. She likes all the same things I like. Um, and uh, She killed a German man. <laughs> in 1982. I used to pick her up from high school, together. you know, before she got a driver's <laughs> license. We met, for a long yeah, time, I was a yeah. tutor. I was her <laughs> pre-SAT prep tutor. Sorry, run it all the way all back. The same from, things from... I like. Um, and uh, I think she's the one. I think we're going to get married and we're going we're gonna to have a great life together. Um, I don't know why I said I think. I, we're definitely going to. But uh, um, anyways, uh, my question to you is um, prior to to this relationship, I was kind of a, a crazy person, and I always was doing weird shit like run around at, at uh, festivals, doing a bunch of drugs. Okay. Um, I would go to Germany and just start shit with the locals. Parties and... And just having a good time. And now my life is a little bit more slow and mundane. And, and, I, and I like that. Like, you know, 99% of the time I love that. But every once in a while, you know, I just want to, I just want to be free and, and do some crazy fun things. Um, anyway, just wondering if you have any advice on how I can mm. still, you know, love and honor her and not do anything stupid like sleep around or anything like that. But just... Just, you know, what, what, what I'm going to tell you <laughs> yeah. and oh, uh, my girlfriend toast. do together, just, you know, what, what, what can me and uh, my girlfriend do together um, that it's just like a break from this boring, mundane reality. What do can you, you do love together? Like, um, anyways, uh, so big you fan. You won't cheat on her? Uh, <laughs> hope you come to San Diego and thanks so much. How for, can I for, bring for, her into <laughs> my... <laughs> yeah, what activities... Babe, help me help, help you. Babe, you got to meet me here because, like, I used to go... I used to do Molly and and get sucked off in porta potties So you're going to have to come up with some fun hobbies <laughs> yeah. so that I don't yeah. do that anymore. <laughs> Yeah. Here's the thing. I like to go on TikTok and DM teenagers. So, so what can you do for me? That, is this, there like a board game we can get into? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Dude, there, that is a sh uh, aggressive shift in tone here. Mm. He's like, ah, she's the best. I love her, yeah. all this stuff. But I used to be, a, I thought he was going to be like, I used to be a crazy guy. I hope yeah. she, is it ever going to come back and is she going to judge me for it? But yeah. this guy's like, I still would like to be that guy sometimes, and yeah. I want her to let me do it. Yeah. Um, I want to go get sucked off at Burning Man yeah. once a year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to go. I want to go eat a pussy that hasn't been bathed for four days. <laughs> <laughs> I want to fuck a. I want to fuck a woman with stink lines like a cartoon, like a Looney Tune, like a pile of trash from the Looney Tunes coming off her pussy. <laughs> At, Ult at Ulta or whatever the fuck. On, at the governor's ball. I literally want to fuck Bugs Bunny in drag. I can't stop thinking about it. And she just doesn't look like... She looks nothing like Bugs Bunny. Um, okay, so I just want to be free and do some crazy fun things. Mm. I mean, dude... I love her and honor her. So how do I not... He's saying, like, how do I not cheat on it her? It sounds like essentially he's asking, like, how do I not cheat? Now, look... Does she have you talked about this at all with her? Like, because what a, a big problem here might be that you have built this what sounded like ideal relationship, but you built it on a foundation of lies, of lies. right? Like, that you're a guy you present to this girl as some guy who fucking, you know, likes brunch, wears cardigans, all this yeah. kind of stuff, and you used to be a fucking, you know, a demon. Just getting, you know, at Bonnaroo, finger popping strangers, <laughs> right? But everybody kind of wants to do that on some level, right? When you're committed to somebody, to you fake just choose who you are. not. No, you just like 
you just choose not to choose to be a better person. You just commit. You got to commit to being a better person. Yeah, yeah, and and that's fine. Or maybe but, just Italians. I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, Italians just cheat. Yeah, that's yeah, that yeah, is yeah, the yeah, secret. Right, right, this right, is a very right. Italian way to go about right, it. Right, right, right. Because if this guy was right. Italian, it would be like, yeah. I'm a family man, ninety percent of the time, ten uh-huh. percent of the time, I pay a Serbian woman to suck my <laughs> dick after I've had so much vodka sauce, a child could drown in it. Right, like that's that's what an Italian would do here. And if this if this was old school, this guy would just basically be Don Draper. Mm-hmm. He would have a nice life, and mm-hmm. then he would go, you know, fuck every once in a while. Mm-hmm. But so I think if if this is something that is important to you that you want this element in your life, you just have to you like, have to just let go of that. Like, or just, how about this? Why don't you go to this fucking thing with your fiance or wife or whatever the fuck? Like uh-huh. a couple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that. That's, I'll tell you, as a married guy, yeah. that's never worked. Well, that's never been like a thing. This guy's talking about festivals and and drugs and all that kind of shit. I'm not talking about like hanging out with the boys and you know going mm-hmm. to get. Put- this guy sounds like it's a very specific thing. Like, why can't you party with your wife or like you know that kind? Like, I do meet these couples where it's like they seem to just have genuine fun together. Mm-hmm. And they're young. They still act young. They still go to parties. It's mm-hmm. just like you end up fucking your wife in the <laughs> in the closet of yeah. the part of the house instead uh-huh. of a woman you don't know. Uh-huh. That's the big difference. Like, yeah. is that enough for you? Yeah. Is a is the problem here that you've lied to your girlfriend about this and she thinks you're this like you know goody two shoes, but you actually have a little bit of a wild side that you think she wouldn't approve of, or you know. Give her the benefit of the doubt. It sounds like he wants to fuck around, though. It really, when we get down to it, yeah. what it sounds like is he wants to cheat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I But want you just have to not. You, you just, just don't. Can't, you just can't don't, cheat. Just don't do it. Just yeah. don't. And but also, it's like, you know, I had a therapist tell me years and years ago that, like, you know, cheating is a choice. Yeah. Like, we act like it's a mistake or whatever, right. but it's like, you you make, like, a series of choices to, yeah. like, to, to do that. Of course. You know? Without question. So, just don't make those Just don't do choices it, Choices and be accountable for it, because you're going to hurt your partner if you, yeah. uh, if you do that. And what I would say is, you don't want to do that. You clearly, he does love this woman. Clearly, yeah. it's like, you know. No, it's going to be, if you cheat, you, it's going to be really bad. Yeah, for you're sure. You're either going to get caught. And it's gonna and it's it's gonna hurt her, or you're not gonna get caught, but you're gonna feel like a piece of shit. It's not even gonna yeah, be. Yeah, and it won't be worth it at all. So I I would suggest, as someone who's not in a committed relationship, has not gotten it to work. Yeah. Ever. So maybe I don't know what I'm saying here. You're gonna have would, to buy jewelry, and then she's gonna be like, "What the <laughs> fuck is this about?" <laughs> Why Nothing. are you just buying me? Oh, I yeah. just missed you when this, I was on my yeah, work trip. Yeah, is all. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no, it's just Vegas is known for their necklaces. <laughs> <laughs> um so I, I my advice if he like get her in like show this side of you see if she wants to be a part of it or whatever see the thing is it's hard it's hard to bring your wife or your girlfriend into that when you say like hey i, I love you but i'm kind of i kind of feel like i want to fuck other people they're I'm just not, not saying get an open relationship no I'm no, no but they're just not gonna understand that in any so so really like every man who's in a relationship with a woman is kind of living a lie <laughs> And that's that's how, <laughs> yeah, how I feel. But you have to you have to choose to like you really have to commit to somebody and yeah. choose to you know and and I think you'll feel better about yourself for when sure. You do you know? And listen, I can't. And then tell the you. problem is when you're committed to a woman, more more skanks will want to fuck you. Yes, yes, because, it's true. Because you're a devoted husband you're a nice and father. Guy. Yeah, you're, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so it's it gets true. not harder, but you know what I mean. Yeah. It's like, you become. You become more desirable. Yes, yes. So you have to realize that. But then you also have to realize that you're not who you are without your partner. Exactly. When you have a great partner. So. Oh, yeah. There's no, there's nothing funnier than when you're in a relationship and the a woman builds you up and you're yeah. like, I'm going to yeah. use all this confidence I'm to awesome. fuck yeah. other yeah. whores. No, 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 no. Don't do no, that. No, no, you no. don't want to do that. Because me me as a divorce guy, it would not oh. be it would not be a good... I'd be, I'd be living in a van or it's something. It's going to be so bad, dude. It's going to be... It would be really yeah, bad. Yeah, you yeah. You got to keep yeah, it going, yeah. Mike. Yeah. Um, so, so just don't do it. Don't do it. And my suggest, my thought is try and get her a little bit in this world and see if you can involve her in this specific fun, mm. uh, you know, going to concerts, whatever the fuck. There's plenty of things that, you know, couples that kind of get that to work, but, or continue. It's hard though. It's, it might be hard, but I'm just saying, think about, I don't, we don't know your exact dynamics, Give it a shot if you think it might make sense, but 
Maybe you start with her. You say, hey, do you want me to watch another guy fuck you? <laughs> See if she goes for that. Then you ease it into you fucking other women. <laughs> Uh, it's She's more, probably gonna say no, but it's worth the shot. But it's shot. worth it's the worth shot. It's like, honey, I love you so much. Yeah, I would let you. And then you just have to watch your wife get railed by a man yeah. who's better at sex yeah, than you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or what you could do is you try if she calls your bluff mm -hmm. and she says yes, you're like you fucking whore. I yeah, knew yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, but if she yeah. says no, then you're like, well, I gave you the opportunity. Can mm -hmm. I fuck girls? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's that's the way. To, you know, that's mm -hmm. your that's the advice, pal. <laughs> yeah, you gotta. You really gotta give up your favorite thing <laughs> when you get married, and that's okay. <laughs> but you have to give it up. So we think we give you some. But really having a good family advice, is nice. I love living in a one bedroom apartment with my wife and son. <laughs> Just, uh, fuck. All right, but so getting fat. You yeah, know? all that stuff is Just awesome. Getting fat, dude. having a terrible diet, never sleeping. <laughs> Getting up at seven o'clock to watch Elmo because he's done sleeping. Even though you went to bed at the same time, it's all very nice. You got to just make your choices. But it's if you have somebody that you're this close with that you love this much, don't fuck strange women. Yes, that's our that's our final advice to you, pal. And we're rooting for you. We're rooting for you. Don't be a piece of shit. You can do it. You can do it, pal. How much time have we been doing, Elders? We're at an hour 35 right now. Okay, nice. Uh, hit us with, uh, let's do, let's get a couple nice ones here to, okay. to, to, to close us out. Okay. Maybe someone who has a knack for broadcasting and uh, not like, you know, <laughs> we'll never their whole find life that. story. Yeah. <laughs> we'll never find wow. that. Wow, podcasting's hard, huh, guys? Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to get to the point, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> Uh, okay, here we go. Let's go. Hey, Stav. I'm at a bit of a crossroads, and I'm wondering if you can help me out. So a little bit of background. <clears throat> I used to work in marketing, and I really hated that job. Like, I hated being in the office. So I made the change, and I switched careers, and I became a teacher. I am now a middle school special education teacher. Um... And overall, a lot of bruises on my arms, but <laughs> I like the work, but this is the absolutely hardest job I've ever had. It's incredibly stressful and it literally makes me want to kill myself. Hmm. Um, I even have, you should do it. And those retards will learn a lesson to leave you, from, to leave you the fuck alone, to stop being so hard on you. <laughs> what? He killed himself? He killed himself? But I was just playing. <laughs> we were just playing. That's yeah, well, true. now he's dead. You would, <laughs> you would be the sacrificial lamb, Dude. but you would have eight of the most well-behaved special needs yeah. people in that entire exactly, town. Exactly, yeah. So, How do they do it? Oh. <laughs> well, well one guy made the ultimate costly, sacrifice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Makes me want to kill myself. <laughs> um, I even had somewhat of a mental breakdown last year. Oof. So I'm wondering... Should I stick it out? Should I improve? Or should I uh, look into another career? I'm not really keen on going back to school. Anyways, if you can help me out, I'd really appreciate it. Thanks. This is tough. This is tough. And and look, you know, obviously, this is this really shows you how fucking, like, how fucked the world is. Because it's yeah. like... This guy should make more money than us. Sure. Like you, I, I should. Well, you can give him some money if you yeah, want. Yeah, yeah, I'll give him a little I, I have bit. a family. I yeah, can't. Yeah, I don't yeah, have any yeah, dollars yeah. to spare. But me, yeah. he should make more money than me. Like, yeah. we really fuck teachers, and especially yeah. a special ed teacher. It's like yeah. Yeah. that should be the kind of thing where you make six figures. Yeah. Because it's so it's so yeah. hard, and it's so like necessary for mm -hmm. our society to function. Sure. Whereas, like you know, podcasting is not. <laughs> um, <laughs> But I mean, look, that's not you know we're not going to snap our fingers and you know get get no get no him. no and hey, what can you do about <laughs> yeah, it? You know, I mean, the world's not fair. The world's not fair. I gotta yeah. you know we gotta buy track suits. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> I would say this is stuff. I had a situation like this. I, I like I decide I was a tutor in Baltimore City. Oh yeah. And I was like, I can't do this because I was not good at my job because mm -hmm. I was doing comedy. Mm -hmm. And I was like, if I fuck this up, like, a kid's life is bad. <laughs> yeah. Right? 
it, but it wasn't this guy he likes the work it's mm-hmm. it's rewarding but it's too hard and he doesn't want to go back to school marketing is bullshit obviously i get that yeah sure could you just go to non special ed yeah. teaching is, is that enough of a, like, uh... Can you get, like, a potato gun so when they start coming <laughs> yeah. at you, you know, you can just kind of, like... Yeah, a pump t-shirt a little, cannon. Yeah, a t-shirt pop, cannon. Pop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Throw a wash... Shoot a washcloth at them every yeah. time they, they act up. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I would say, can you make the switch to, you know, if the special ed is too much, can you make the switch to different kinds of teaching if if you get yeah. a reward out of education yeah um my mom works at a special ed school and it's like so she does that and deals with my oh, brother wow. it's like it's fucking Non-stop. hard yeah yeah that's tough yeah. it's crazy because it's like and then my dad yeah yeah yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny that a woman who has so much like empathy for the people she works with is like we have to round up every mexican <laughs> yeah, and put them on a sinking <laughs> ship I, I, it's I, like I how does that how is that I the know. same person i don't know <laughs> No, oh, because, so, it's because they come here f- and they get free health care. Right, right. As soon as you sneak over right, the border. Right, right, which yeah. is how it works. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah, yeah. you go right into the you best hospital. <laughs> yeah, 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 you get yeah. a hospital. They give you a Mercedes Benz. <laughs> uh-huh. um, so is teaching something that's viable for you? Um, is if you like helping kids, if you like this, is there like an administrative thing you'd like to go to? Right, I wish I knew like what specifically is hard about the job. I mean, I think you know Which, yeah. with your brother, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like, And anyone I've known who's worked with special needs kids, they say the same thing, where it's like, yes, it's really rewarding, It's, it, mm-hmm. but it is lit- sometimes it's physically taxing, yeah. right? Yeah. So, um, and if you're having mental breakdowns, bro, you don't, you can't do it. You know what I mean? Like, even if the heart wants, the, you're not cut out for it, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so, if, and you don't want to go back to school... Mm-hmm. But you find it sounds like something. Could you use your education. job in marketing to like maybe sell a product to right. the special eds kids and then make some money off of right, them? Right, right, right. Marketing, you kind of candy bar to them. Yeah, you can have some. You can. And it's just an old kind of candy bar. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's actually, just a payday. Actually, marketing candy bar to special needs kids. This sounds like the easiest job yeah, in the easiest world. Job you don't have to really look. There's peanuts on the outside. <laughs> Become an educational consultant who siphons money from the school system to <laughs> yeah. people who shouldn't have. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Get, get paid way more than teachers for some yeah, reason. And be, yes, exactly. <laughs> Become a fucking uh, go work for Deloitte and yeah. and do PowerPoints about special ed <laughs> instead of actually doing it and get paid six figures. Um, but do you want to stay in education? I mean, it, you know, some other teaching thing that might be that might be it. And look, if you don't want to go to school and you weren't happy at a regular desk job, it's like honestly, like. Do you, you don't want to go to school, school, but do you want to, do you want to learn a trade? I mean, on it, going to college sounds so annoying, but yeah. do you want, yeah, like yeah, yeah. sometimes working construction is literally a better job yeah. than <laughs> teaching. Literally. If I you saw get a TikTok. The, some lady was like, uh, I used to be a teacher. Now I work at Costco. I love my job. Yeah. I love leaving work. Yeah. I love my team. They're, they encourage me. Yeah. They don't, I don't have to take any crap from customers. The management supports me. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. This was never, this. I, I was never treated this well when I was a teacher. Yeah. Crazy. So fucked. Yeah. We're so fucked. We're dude. fucked, yeah. Um, I kind of want to tell this guy like, you know, Try it out for another year, even though it sounds really hard and he gets nervous. I feel like even like yeah. the hardest job, if you just like hang in there long enough, like you just get used to it, which could be depressing. But I feel like you need to like approach it with that attitude, like teaching in particular, where yeah. it's like if you want to be a career teacher, like, you know, you, you just realize like, if you do it enough, like, you know, you're not going to change every kid's life or fix every single yeah. thing. But it's just about like small moments or small something victories, that, sure. that what it's like all about. Yeah. Shout out to Abbott it's, Elementary. <laughs> That's a good yeah. show that yeah. you know does says shit like that. Yeah. <laughs> what were we gonna say, Mike? I said Janelle James has a great body. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, shout I don't know if he wants. To, if he wants to ki- shout out to Janelle, if he wants to kill himself, I mean, I don't know. That's like <laughs> yeah, that's you like should a lot. want. Yeah, yeah. I've never really like heard of that. I mean, I'm sure women probably feel that way all the time. <laughs> then they just keep it inside. But I've women? never. <laughs> yeah. The women who work with these kids. Right, right, you know? right, right, but, uh, right, right, right. Yeah, but, I mean yeah. that is true. If it's only been a year, I do know what you mean, though. It's sometimes like when I'm being to New the York, parent of like a special needs kid, and you're like, "Did your te- your teacher kill himself? Yeah, because he said you were too difficult. <laughs> now a good man is dead." <laughs> I will say though, when you start stu- start hard things that are rewarding, mm-hmm. 
the beginning is very difficult. I wanted to mm -hmm. kill myself when I moved to New York. Oh, you did? Like, the first year I was here was yeah. so depressing. It's that tough, was yeah. fucking brutal, dude. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. Yeah, Elders' stuff is that's a that's a good point. But if it's like the I'm kind sure of it looks good on the dating apps to be like I work with yeah, you know yeah, special. Yeah, yeah. Kids, have you gotten you know? pussy like, out of this? That's yeah. true. Yeah, that's a great point. That's yeah. what it's all about. That's what it comes it's down. Like, it's Stavi's like Stavi's world <laughs> comes down to one thing. Real, if we're being honest, everything does come back to that. To getting pussy, yeah. To getting yes, to fucking. It's nice to other. do something. That's like a cool thing to do with your life too. So yeah, and yeah. there is something too feeling good about. Your, you know, yourself and what you do as, as long as you got the other shit taken care of. But yeah, maybe go work at Costco. Yeah. Get the chicken bakes going. <laughs> uh, let's do one more, Elders. Give us something nice to go out on. I think this one's perfect. <coughs> also, stop. Did, didn't you have a, literally have a teacher who used to be a teacher but worked at Costco? Oh, fuck. No, I didn't have a teacher, but somebody... No, no, a guy, a guy at one of your shows. Oh, yeah, you're right. A guy in Providence, Rhode Island. Uh -huh. Literally, I did crap. Some guy asked, like, I don't know how we even got into it, but yeah. I was like, "What's your life like, dude?" And he he literally quit and worked at Costco. And but his better. shit, his shit. Seven, no, it did no. not sound like it was going good. Oh, okay. And his girlfriend was like, "He's going through a crisis." Oh yeah. So don't be that guy. <laughs> okay, this is a good Li one. Link yeah. below to that piece of crowd work. I think. Did we put it out ever? Yeah, it's out. <laughs> yeah, we'll, yeah. We'll do a little <laughs> YouTube pop up for that one. Okay, here we go. Hey, Stav, it's Alex from Kentucky. I've got more of a lighthearted question. Uh, I'm in my early 30s, and I've got a buddy. Uh, we went to elementary school together, middle school. We stayed in contact. I went to his wedding maybe five or six years ago, but we don't talk that much. Um, like I probably saw him a year ago. But he's just, he started sending me memes on Instagram <laughs> and random videos that aren't even related to any inside jokes or a sports team we like or our careers. They're just borderline funny, generally unfunny videos. And there's no context and he doesn't even say anything. He just kind of sends me these random videos. And at first I thought it was a mistake and he keeps doing it. And occasionally I'll double heart it, but I don't really know what to do. Like ignoring him seems mean, but also I don't even find him funny and don't really <laughs> want to keep doing it. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of weird. Uh, let me know what you think. Damn, right. dude. <laughs> this that what other kind of videos. Guy, that other guy is so bad at me finding good memes that it's gonna <laughs> ruin a lifelong friendship. And it's not, they're not even horrible. They're just mid, dude. That's mm -hmm. yeah. His, his friend is just oh. sending him bad memes, uh -huh. and he's like, I don't know what to fucking do. Yeah. You can't, yeah, you can't be like, hey, man, stop sending me these. No, but I think you can give feedback on the individual memes and be like, this didn't do it for me. <laughs> that's, and it'll force them to do better. That's your 132nd auti autism speaking right there. <laughs> like, Sorry, not very good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Send me a yeah. different one. <laughs> well, I love memes. <laughs> I'd like to see another one, please. I think you can do better. This one yeah. didn't really do it for me, but yeah. perhaps tomorrow you will find a better one. Yeah. Um, you no, could, but don't you want to know that you're sending good memes and videos? But it's like so they're, they're also not that close though. They're not, like if like, Elda mm. sent me a bad meme, I'd be like, "This sucks, you fucking uh -huh, loser." Uh -huh. But if if some guy, like a friend of mine from middle school, who I've been to his wedding, yeah. but we don't talk that much, yeah. sent me memes that I hated, yeah. I would just be like, uh, I would give him one courtesy, lol, uh -huh, yeah, and then I would mute him after a while. Mute like him, it, yeah. it would ruin the relationship. Honestly. Putting myself in your shoes, buddy, that would fuck the relationship up for me. Mm -hmm. I think I think your options are to either send him good memes. Mm -hmm. you, if you want to salvage mm -hmm. your relationship, now he's a fucking full time. Now he's the fat Jew where yeah. he has to find better memes and steal yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. If right. you want to have a good like, you could send him better memes and try and train him that way. Yeah. Um, or you have to start pretending you don't use Instagram. <laughs> Those are your options. Yeah. You have to do a big post right. where you're like... I'm getting off. I'm getting off. For my mental health. For my mental health. Which is kind of true. And then you add everyone but him to your close friends. Mm -hmm. Or you hide your stories mm -hmm. from him. Or you add him to the close friends only for a day. Put that post out on the close friends. Na Eldis, then, you're a genius. <laughs> and then swap it around. <laughs> Eldis, and you're a genius. put everyone else on the close you friends except him for your normal... <laughs> posting <laughs> you put him on close friends you're like gotta get off ig i've been depressed 
I'll miss all the awesome memes, but it's just better for me that I stay off. <laughs> and then he starts texting him. It's even worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's your only. Those are your two options. Mailing buddy. him to his house. Yeah. Mailing memes. To his house. <laughs> good luck. Good luck, my friend. We're rooting for you to keep up that friendship. And thank you to everybody who called in 904 800 Stav. If you want to leave a voicemail, uh, we'll be next week. We'll have our our regular episode with Mateo Lane. Uh, we have a great uh, Patreon episode, a bonus episode coming up this Thursday with Sean Patton. You guys are going to love it. Um, so watch out for those. Mike, thanks for coming, buddy. What do yeah. you want to plug? Where if I could just, uh, yeah, I'm taping a special in New York City, yes. February 26th. And we'll put stand. We'll also put this in the like description. We'll put it in the we'll put it on the YouTube, all that kind of stuff. Sweet. Yeah, if you don't mind linking that, that'd be of good. Course. I'm excited. Um, February 26th, go see Mike. Uh, one of the funniest comics. You're so fucking, I mean, truly Thanks. hilarious. Appreciate it. I got a podcast out for smokes and I got some road dates. They're all in my uh, Instagram bio. Let Mike them hear them. Comedy. Let's run the fucking We got, dates. we got uh, Baltimore. Be we got more. Uh, Boston. Boston. We got Buffalo on Valentine's Day Ooh, at Helium. Oh, beautiful. Uh, we got Denver Comedy Underground the 17th and 18th of February. And love then we it. got Hilarities in Cleveland February 19th. That's President's Day weekend. So I love go ahead it. and get your tickets for I that. Love I'd love it. to see you there. Yeah, thank you. Go see Mikey on the fucking road. Um, we, the Fat Rascal Tour is coming. We're selling pretty well. Me and El Eldis will be at these dates, folks. Uh, he'll be working the cameras. He'll be fucking doing everything. Um uh, we're coming. We have uh, we added a couple more dates to, I want to say Seattle, Austin, um, Chicago, and something else that I'm forgetting. But who gives a fuck? Stabby Biz, check them out. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you. If you like the show, consider subscribing to the Patreon. Two episodes a week, you get an extra episode a week. And uh, we'll see you next week with Mateo Lane. Yeah, on kick the some money to the creators that you like. Kick Canc some, yeah. Cancel El your uh, Paramount Plus and your exactly. HBO, which is all full of godless uh, it's liberals. Nothing, it's nothing but godless <laughs> liberals. You don't get good family values like you do on this fucking exactly. show. Uh, love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.